7-11. I am here to do your free readings. And I miss you guys very much. It's been a while. Since the girl, he has been doing lots of things, important things. And I've also been um, adding to the channel some videos for you guys to watch. I did it by Zodiac Sign. Uh, what um, blessings are coming to you. If you haven't checked that out, check them out. They're, I made them short so that you guys... I know a lot of people don't have patience yet to watch long videos. Uh, that will actually develop in time. But right now, I do have, uh, they're about nine, anywhere from five to ten minutes long, each zodiac sign on the blessings coming to you. So check that out. Hi, Divine Empress Ari. How are you? Look at, look at what my son draw. I'm use, I'm like a, I'm like a, a serious, like, recycle. And, um, I'm a, I'm a recycle fanatic. I like to save the trees, save the plants, so... My son comes home every day with tons of artwork and um, <laughs> maybe one of you guys are having a tower moment. <laughs> this is my son's artwork. I'm using it as scrap to write the names because I wait. I throw out so much paper every day of him just doodling uh, in classroom. I guess maybe doodling time. So I'll, I've been using it for the channel to write names on. That sure looks like a, this looks like a, Somebody about to have some tower moment. So you guys may be going through some major change here. Listen, everything, look at that. That even looks like a door. Like new doors are opening and some are closing. Right? He likes to watch on YouTube. Siren Head. I forgot what this guy's called. He's from Minecraft, I think. Um, and that's Siren Head. What is it, Siren Head? It's one of those guys. They're weird, like, things that they have on, like, Minecraft. And um, what's the other one? That everybody's on oh my god it's so annoying it's not minecraft it's uh roblox hi asuna oh you made it early yay i'm doing well just showing off my child's artwork and how we're going to be using it to write the names on because i hate paper waste and I've, I've been throwing tons of doodling out and i've come to the conclusion that this is actually a reading so this is you, this is your pet if you have one, or this is your spirit guides. You have two doors here, one is closing, one is opening, and we're gonna have a tower moment. So that means major change. <laughs> I'm actually gonna write names on it. <laughs> I could read, listen, I could make a tarot story out of anything. I've done it with his other artwork that he did copy and paste, like matching the, matching like the letters to the pictures and stuff like that. I literally made a whole tarot story out of it. This definitely looks like a tarot moment. This looks like one door is closing and another one's opening, but it looks like a good tarot moment. This is you, your spirit guides, <laughs> or your pet. <laughs> Hi, Infinity I saw. I hope I said that right. Infinity I saw. Are you new here? If you are, can you hit that subscribe? Everybody, throw a like in the room, please. Isn't that funny, guys? I gotta show everybody else when they come in. I know it's a million thousand. Let's just get started since there's no one here. We wanna get moving. Divine Empress. You can go ahead, Divine Empress, are we? And post your question. Asuna. Infinity Ison. I've been busy. March is gonna be a busy month for me. Like I gotta, I have to handle personal business so I can really dedicate myself. And this is the month that I need to do that. But I have been posting, guys. Go on the channel. Sometimes I put them in lives, even though they're not live. And sometimes I put them, in, they go in, up in videos if they're pre-recorded. Um, on my phone depends where I do it. The longer videos usually show live, but they're not actually they're live but not public. And then I just post them when I'm done. And then sometimes I put them on the video. So I did it by Zodiac Sign. What blessings are coming to you is the title by Zodiac Sign. If you guys want to check that out. Can you tell me who I will have my first time with? And it's somebody that I know. Ew. Ooh, girl. People wish they could be you. Where is my dice? Hold on. I'm about to have a heart attack. I just realized my dice is missing. There it goes. 
All right, so I've re I've restocked new new decks over here. Okay, so you guys can see that instead of my moving mess in the back. Okay, can you guys see that? Whatever. All right, let's just get moving. So, Holy Spirit, Archangels, and Spirit Guides calling in uh, Divine Empress Ari, calling in her guides, my guides. She would like to know who will be her. Who will be her first time? Who will her first time be with? And if it's someone she knows. So let's hit that first question. Who will your first time be with? I don't know why, but I have a feeling it's someone you don't know. Five. One, two, three, four, five. But who's the same? Oh, yes. Asuna saw it. Asuna. And there was somebody else in the chat that's normally here. Kiki, Kiki, Kiki commented. All right, Holy Spirit, Archangels, and well, we already got a soulmate here. Look at that. I was shuffling and it already popped up. So this is someone from your past. This could be someone you grew up with, someone that uh, seems very familiar to you, or someone, um, this could, you know, it's really hard to tell, uh, Divine Empress Ari, because the soulmate card could be someone you grew up with, someone you knew as a child. Or growing up as a child, you you knew this person, or this could be a past life soulmate, okay? But I'm getting like someone. It could be someone that you knew, but you didn't really like know it was that person. We it could be an earth sign because on the other side we have an earth sign, okay? So let's see. Let's keep going. Who will divine empress Ari? Literally, the minute I opened the deck, it just popped. Look, the emperor, that's like a divine counterpart. And I just split the deck again. The emperor is a divine counterpart. Could also be an Aries. This could be someone who's a boss. This could be someone who's mastered themselves. This could be, so your, your divine person that you're meant to be with, okay, um, would be like someone who's uh, an emperor, okay? Someone who's divinely sent to you. This is an Aries. Are you talking about me? You, me and you have the same zodiac? Can I be honest with you guys? And I know you guys might like say no, no, no. But I'm learning astrology. I, I haven't really delved into it all the way. Hey, Iffy Zion. Um, but I've watched so many readings in my life because I was just obsessed with tarot. That's how I started doing tarot, by watching and, and learning, right? Um, I realized that once you find your reader, no matter what sign that reader posts, it's going to resonate with you. Not everything. Take what, take what you know. Like tarot cards are meant to confirm your intuition because what the problem is a lot of times people who are still going through the healing or awakening phase, they don't listen to their own intuition. Like your own intuition be telling you all the time or showing you something all the time and you go against it. So as a tarot reader, my job is only to teach you how to listen to that, right? And how to heal so that you can you can get that clear channel, right? So what I'm saying here is once you find a reader and that reader resonates with you and your energy is being drawn to that reader, right? It's all an energy thing. Um, that reader, no matter what sign she posts, you're going to resonate with it. I can guarantee you that. I, I know from watching, I, God knows how many damn tarot readings I've watched in my lifetime. And I know this from experience. I'm, I'm a Virgo, Virgo sun, and I'm an Aries moon. I think that what I do agree with when it comes to zodiac signs is, um, what I do agree with, it's, it's the, like their, their personality. Because usually, for me, the zodiac signs, they show you someone's personality. Like a fire sign would be very fiery, very passionate, very fast moving. You know what I mean? Things like that. And when it comes to, um, but you know, you guys have to re realize that when you do your, um, when you do your chart, your birth chart, we have placements all over. I used to say the same thing, like you divine empress. Uh, I, I just don't want it to be Aries. I've dated Aries. Um, my sister was an Aries and we fought all the time, even though I love her. Um, and I dated an Aries, had a bad experience. So I'm like, I don't want an Aries. I don't want an Aries. But 
I'm actually Aries Moon, and I found that out years later. Okay, so I guess I don't want to date you know myself. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So I wouldn't judge a person by their sign. I would be more interested in the character because any sign, if that if that person and that sign is out of balance, no matter what sign they are, they're out of balance. Okay, you're not gonna get the best of them. All right, I gotta do some more names here. Iffy, Zion, Autumn. Hi, Autumn. Autumn, are you new here or no? Maybe you're not, but if you are, could you hit that subscribe button? Everyone in the room, drop a like, please. I'm trying to get, hey, Merlasha, I know you're not new. Please drop a like, guys. Let's get those numbers up. I'm almost getting to a thousand, guys. Okay, great, Autumn. All right, so, so maybe your person is Earth with fire in their chart. Divine Empress Ari. So who's going to be Divine Empress Ari? Who's going to be her first? Any characteristics? I really, I am so against the sign thing because people get that so misconstrued. The only reason why I do Zodiac signs is because it draws you guys in. That's what, that's what the collective likes. They feel like it's more personal. But for me, it's if, even if I were to do a collective reading, you're going to resonate somewhere because energetically you're drawn to me. And I'm obviously, if, you, if I resonate with you, you're in my energy, right? All right, so 1,000, I wish, oh, ooh, 100,000, I'll take that better, screw it. <laughs> even though I'm, at, I'm almost at 1,000, getting there. All right, so coins, 10 of coins. So your person is going to have money, or this is like someone you build a legacy with. This is someone you build a home with. This is someone that you could grow with, okay? Or you have like a nice, you and this person, because there's two roses here, look at that. It's like you're going to put a lot of money together and you're going to be able to save a lot of money and pass this down to your children. So that's one, one sign of the person that you're first, whoever you're first is supposed to be. Am I getting Divine Empress Ari that you're saving yourself? And that's not a bad thing at all. If I, I, I think a lot of us, if we could go back, we wish we'd done that too. Page of coins. We got a lot of money, okay, and earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This person could be younger than you. doesn't have to be. Spirit could just be showing me the signs. Or maybe they have a very youthful energy. Like, this is someone who's very fun. You know what I mean? For me, when you have someone who's younger than you, is they're very fun. They're, they're good manifestors. Look at that. Look at that. They're good manifestors. And they know how to... Um, look at that. It just flew, like, it flew out of my arm. Excuse me. They're good manifestors. And they know... Usually when people have a young character, they're fearless. And they, they manifest. They know how to manifest and have fun and enjoy life. So that could be your person. This could be also a Taurus. This is the Faith card. But it's actually... Uh, the higher font. The higher font is also a card of marriage and commitment. That's also the card of marriage commitment. So you got a lot of earth energy here. So they definitely got earth in their chart. Okay. Anything else? Let's do three more cards to answer that question of who her first is going to be. Whatever there is, there's a lot of earth in the chart. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. And this is someone that is not going to be broke. Hi, baby. Hi, Rasheem. I'm always thinking about you. I'm just so busy. I've been so busy. Has everyone been checking out the um, blessings coming to you by your zodiac sign? I've posted all signs. They're all up. I finished the last one yesterday. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Spirit Guides. Divine Empress Aries, guys. What is her person gonna be like? Her first, the person, her first person. If she will have her, I don't want to say your situation first with. <laughs> they get what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, you got more coins. Whoever this is, they got a lot of money. So there's something a lot of money, or this is someone that you're gonna be building with, or this is someone who knows how to save. This, oh, this person could be like someone who's maybe like an accountant or works in the field with money, like a banker, an accountant, or they own a business, okay? Whoever this is, they got a lot of money, or they know how to save money, or they know how to manifest money, and they're very committal. I 
dated Earth Signs too. They're actually very fun, but I've had you. Okay, let's put it like this: If you dated someone, right, that is that, that isn't their highest self, meaning they're still asleep, meaning they're not awoken. No matter what sign they are, you're not gonna get the best of them because every sign has really good traits and qualities. I feel, and if you date someone who's out of balance, like let's say your energy out of balance, right? And you attract somebody else, or and your energy is attracted to someone else. That energy is gonna same, be the same as your energy, and it's like two people out of balance, right? So neither one of you are delivering your best self. When you're delivering your best self, and you've completely healed, and you're awoken. Well, I don't think everyone's a hundred percent healed. I, I don't believe that. Um, it's like you start attracting the person that you're really meant to be with. I feel like when you're you're when you've like grounded yourself, you've learned how to balance yourself, right? You learn how to do those certain things, heal yourself. That's when you attract your very best partner. I think that's when your partner comes in. That is the one who's going to uh, deliver the traits that you're actually looking for. Because, I, don't, you know, everyone has every zodiac in their chart. Like, seriously. I, I feel like I'm confusing myself, maybe confusing you. I'm sorry. Whoever it is, you, it's a lot of earth here. I'm sorry. They got a lot of earth. The person that you're going to... And that, there's a key here. There's a key and there's a box. So it's like this person is going to unlock your box, if you know what I'm talking about. They're going to unlock that coochie. Okay? They're going to unlock that box. And there's two roses here and there's a key. Okay? So this is the person that's going to have the key. I feel it filled to your heart. This person is not going to be cheap. They got money, but they do know how to save. They know how to build with it. They know how to create it. Hi, Anubav. I got you. Wait, there's another person in here I did not add yet. I got Azuna, Emperor, Arashima. I didn't get Arashima. And Anubav. Anubav. U. B H A V. Okay. We got more money, Queen of Coins. Listen, Spirit is being, you know, I did call in your, your guides, okay? I've never seen a reading like this so specific to an earth sign. You have the Queen of Coins, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. It's funny because the very same thing that you're afraid of, which is earth signs, is being drawn to you. <laughs> I, this is someone who's going to know your worth. This is someone who's going to marry you, someone who's going to want to commit to you, okay? If you're not ready for marriage, this is just someone who is going to be, because the word here is faith, so I feel like they're going to be faithful. This is really the higher font, okay? You know what? Spirit's going to send you the opposite of what you're normally attracted to. Do you know that, Divine Empress? <laughs> He's going to send you the opposite of what you normally would want. I hate to tell you this. Four of Swords in Reverse. Hmm. Why is the Four of Swords in Reverse? You know what I'm getting? <laughs> because this higher font is looking kind of passionate. And we are talking about who's going to be your first. I feel like whoever is going to be your first is not going to let you sleep, if you know what I'm talking about. Like you and this person is gonna be going at it so much that you're gonna you're gonna forget that you were even whatever. I don't want to announce it. <laughs> okay, that they were your first, but whoever this is, it's like they're not gonna be able to get enough of you. You ain't gonna get no sleep. This person's not gonna let you sleep. You be like, could you please get off me? I'm trying to go to sleep. Or maybe it's gonna be the other way around, both of y'all, because it's like the four swords in reverse. But I also get this is someone who's going to be very peaceful as well. This is someone that you, you could be at ease with. This is someone who's going to commit. This is someone who is faithful. But also, when it comes to the question that you asked, who's going to be your first? You guys are not going to sleep. You're going to be so into each other that you're, you're not going to sleep. I mean, that faith card even looks like an Ace of Wands card. And the Ace of Wands card, whenever it comes out in a reading, is like getting a whole lot of D. <laughs> Getting a whole lot of it, okay? Does she know this person? The Fool. We got an Aries, too. The Fool card is the Aries. This is someone that you're going to take a leap of faith with. 
I really feel almost like this person may be the opposite of what you're usually attracted to. You ever seen that card in the romance deck? I don't have it here out. I have it, but I don't have it out. And it's called, uh, your soulmate is, your soul, uh, your soulmate is the opposite or is, is different from your usual, different from your usual, oh my God, I, I can't get it out now. It's different from your usual, basically it's different from what you usually would go after. The fool. So it's going to be someone that you're, you wouldn't normally go after. You're taking a leap of faith. You're going to take a chance on this person. There's a dog hanging there. We may have a dog. <laughs> Everything that you say you don't want. Here goes that coins card again. Thank God it was in reverse. The five of coins. This is not someone who's going to leave you out in the cold and abandon you. This is not someone who's going to, uh, you know, leave you struggling by yourself or ghost you. This is someone who's going to like in it for the long haul because there's so much coins here. Like this is someone you're going to build like a legacy with, with the 10 of coins here. That was your first card that came out. You have a lot of earth and you do have fire here, mostly earth. So this person will be mostly of earth. Queen of swords. I feel like that's your energy though. You may be very guarded to this person. You may be very skeptical of this person. And I think I know why. Because you don't like earth signs. So you're going to be watching every move of this person here. Hi, Wayne. Thank you for the subscribe. Everybody in the room, drop a like. Okay? You have more coins. Every single card has come out for you. Divine Empress of Coins. Eight of Coins. This could be someone who works really hard. Or is like a boss. Or does something like with money, I told you, like accounting or uh, business, anything having to do with financial business, a banker, or uh, this person has their own bank. The person has money, okay? Whoever this is, the Divine Empress, there's, did you see every single card come out in coins? Almost every single card is a coin card, with the exception of the Hierophant, which is also an earth sign, which would be a coin card. And it's also a card of commitment. Sometimes, believe it or not, I was just like you, Divine Empress. I had to find the finest mofo out there. I would not, he had to have that cute baby face. And those are the trouble ones, okay? Not all of them. But you know what? There were a few that I've dated out there that were, they were not so attractive. But after hanging out with them for so long, it's like the inner beauty of that person came out. And I, I just became attracted to someone I never thought I'd be attracted to. So I can't even say what I am attracted to anymore. And then there was one time I was so in love with this one guy. And he was totally the opposite of what I would date. And then he became my everything. Like That, one, that was the uh, eye-opening one. Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is like your prince in shining armor. Whoever this is, very romantic. Okay. Um, I don't know if you know this person. I don't think you know this person. But remember when I cut the deck, the soulmate card came? No, it was the Six of Cups. Again, so I think the person that is going to be is going to be someone either you known from childhood, you grew up with. So it's possible that you may know this person. But, you know, there is a small chance that it's someone from a past life. Whatever it is, it's not going to be someone you ever expected. So I don't feel like it's someone in your current energy. Like, you know, no. Okay. Any any other feedback on this person? But I did ex describe this person really good. It's, it's, it's an earth sign. Ten of swords. Yeah, the ten of swords in reverse. Ten of Swords in Reverse talks about forgiveness and releasing and surrendering. So I don't know if your spirit guides are trying to tell you you need to surrender, like putting expectations on it. They could be telling you surrender, putting expectations, because God is going to send you what's what he feels is, is, is good for you. We got the devil in reverse, the Ten of Swords in reverse. I feel like you're putting too much expectation because of something in the past. You could have dealt with something toxic in the past. The devil card is also an earth sign, Capricorn. So whoever this, like, I feel like they're telling you, let go expectations. Spirit is going to bring you whoever they feel is going to be right for you. 
Don't try to force things. Two of Wands. There's fire and earth in this person's chart. I can tell you that much. Chariot. Possible Cancer. Uh, this talks about success here too. Okay. Cancer is like, I don't know why. They're telling me a month. July. July. So I don't know. Maybe you meet this person in July. And they're also telling me if you've dealt with something toxic in your past, don't let, let that go, okay? Because look, you have two wands here. There's two boxes here. There's a key here. And there's also a key here. You see that? You had the first card that came out was a ten of coins. There's two roses. The two of wands. And this is rare for a deck to have these type of pictures. You got two wands. You have two boxes. And you have one key. So whoever this is, it's like... I'm hearing unity. It's going to be someone who's going to equally give and take here. Okay? So don't be in this, uh, don't be in that Queen of Swords energy that came out. The Queen of Swords came out. Don't be in that energy of Queen of Swords. Okay? Don't, don't be guarded. Don't be emotion guarded. You know, I gave you literally all, all the, all the, I'm hearing symptoms and signs. Okay? So I feel like it's an earth sign with fire in their chart. Or it's, they could have like, sun, they could be like, um, their sun and their moon be earth and, and fire. So you would obviously have to know their birthdays. But there's a lot of earth energy. A very grounded person as well. That's what I can tell you about your person. Very grounded. Has money. Could be accounted. Could be a boss. Could be a banker of some sort. Or deal with some sort of money. Okay? They got money and this is someone you build a legacy with. This is someone that you can actually, like, there's marriage potential with. But you got to get off the Queen of Swords because they gave me the Ten of Swords with the Devil in Reverse and the Ten of Swords in Reverse. So that's showing me that there's something in your past that you need to forgive here. You need to forgive someone in your past here or let go or release whatever that, that toxic energy is. Therefore, whatever you've been waiting for can come in. Like Spirit wants to send you that person. But until you release that, he's not going to, he can't send you what you want or what you need. Okay, the right person. Let's get, I think you need a surrender card here, girl. Surrender to play. Didn't I tell you this person is going to be either younger than you, and if they're not younger than you, they'll be very playful, like youth-like. This is why this person has a lot of money. They're able to manifest well. Because children are the greatest manifestors because they, they do things like in a very fearless way. Uh, so it says, take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. Rejuvenation. And I feel also maybe Spirit's asking you, raise your frequency so that I can, I hardly have any earth in my chart. That's what I said. Opposites attract. You're going to end up attracting the, the opposite. I feel like opposite of, of what you normally would deal with. Like I've seen that a lot as watching Tarot that you end up, they, you end up falling for someone you never thought. Surrender your addictions, okay? This could be an addiction to overthinking, I feel. Or overworking. We know it's not oversexing. We know that. Uh, it says, whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with a healthier alternative. They want you to play more, but I'm getting the energy of you think too much. Thinking less. Less thinking, more fun. And you're going to raise your frequency that way. Surrender to defensiveness. I knew that with the Queen of Swords. You're very defensive. You're very guarded. And you're protecting that heart. And you're, de you're obviously de de protecting your coochie too. So uh, we know that. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more power way. Stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear non-defensive uh, response. So um, I feel more so this could be. If it's not a person involved. This is you just needing to be less guarded so that you can attract love because you may be closed off to receiving and that person can't vibrationally, they can't come in because you, you're you vibrating unblocked. I can't let anyone in. See, that's a, see that way of thinking will eventually change. I, I know you say that now. I used to think just like that and eventually that all changes. I don't think he is younger than me, too. Is it possible also that 
that ex person you need to also forgive? Have you forgiven that person? That ex of yours? You could be still holding on to that energy. Stay away from drama today. I don't know, honey. Anything else for Divine Empress Ari? You have here, forgive someone. I told you, there's someone you need to forgive. Okay, guys, who heard that? Who heard me say that to her three times now? There's somebody you need to forgive here. Spirit is telling you, stop asking me questions about who you're going to get get your coochie knock on. And you need to forgive someone so I can send that person in. Tune into your inner peace. There's something that you need to have peace with. I feel like it's someone from your past. I don't know what this person did to you, but they did something to you that I feel like you're afraid. You, you'll be afraid to date any sign that has their energy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's showing in your reading very strongly, okay? And I feel like Spirit is also telling you that you need to forgive this person. All It was like all earth sign, all the whole chart. We got the Ten of Swords and we got the Devil in Reverse. They're saying you really, really need to, if you want that connection to come in, the right one, with it, then you need to forgive that person. And until you do and you hold on to the energy of, of them, uh, or, or like feeling like unfinished business or feeling like they owe you something or feeling like you want revenge or feeling like you want karma on this person. Like you're always holding on to their energy regardless whether you're with them or not or you like them or not. And you will always attract that very same person. So right now your energy is showing me earth sign. Earth, 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 earth with some fire. Yeah, it's showing very clearly. I have to move on. So I do think this is someone, remember we had that soulmate. So this could be someone you grew up with, someone you knew for a long time. Or like, this is like someone who has a life, so, uh, a past life with you, a past life soulmate. But that's what your energy is giving me off. But Spirit is making it very clear, you need to forgive somebody. And I said it multiple times and it came out. So now I really believe what I just said. Not to say I, I didn't believe myself, but I did believe myself. All right, Asuna San, give me your question. That's all I can tell you, Divine Empress RE, because that's all it was coming out was Earth sign, Earth sign, Earth sign. And forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. So we were saying, like, this needs to be done first. Uh, may I know what will be happening next for my connection with Regna? Reg Regna? Rega. Renga. Renga. Hopefully, he will take action so everything will move forward. I don't know why I feel that he is not the... that. I feel that he is the one and already mine. Damn, claim that. Okay, let's see. You got deck number five. Did I shake that good? Asuna, calling in Asuna's guides, her person's guides, Asuna Sands guides, Ringa's guides. What does she need to know when it comes to love with this person? Is this her person? Oh, someone just sent a uh, PayPal. I got to take a look. Let me just do Asuna real quick. All right, one, two, three, and then you'll jump the line. Infinity, I saw. Let me just confirm. Hold on, guys. I don't get alerts from PayPal. Let me do email. Hey, Glass Rose. No, I go into depth all the time. I want you guys to see how I read. And I can't read not in depth. If you guys want me to give you a half ass reading, I might as well do collective readings. Okay, we're, we're confirmed. I'm like that with all my readings. Are you new here, Glass Rose? Divine Empress Ari Asuna. But imagine what I'll do on a private reading. So... Guys, book me. I've been, oh, that's another reason why you haven't seen me so much on the channel. In between doing my readings, I got three bookings. So, I got three bookings this week, which I was very happy about. And I only charge 33 33 That's a promotional price. I don't know when I'm going to raise that, but for now, I think I could keep it there. Glass Rose, Infinity Sun. Oh, no. Uh, I'm making sure I didn't miss anybody. Infinity Sun. 
So imagine what you get when I do you privately, one on one. If you want to be, some people want pre-recorded, which I don't mind doing either. But you won't be able to uh, comment while I'm on doing the read. If he's Zion, I already got you. Rashima got you. Okay, Asuna Sun, and then we're gonna jump to. Wait, who is the donator? Oh, Infinity Sun. Hello. Oh, your number. Infinity Sun. I Sun. You just. Okay. Your number. You're gonna be right after Asuna. Okay, so. Asuna, you got these lovely cards. Okay. What was the question? Okay. Um. Spirit may be going around your question. Can I be honest, Divine Empress Ari? There is a possibility that the person that you were dating, that person was like, you know, they call it like your false twin flame. It's like, it's like the connection that you think it's your twin flame, but it's not. And then your real twin flame comes in and they may have the same characteristics, but they're not the same person. Like same sign, you know what I mean? I only gave you what the cards told me. All earth sign. Maybe spirit is telling you what you need to focus on right now is forgiving that person. Whether they deserve it or not. Because it's only for you. When you hold on to unforgiveness, you're blocking a new person from coming in. Or you're blocking the right person from coming in. Holy Spirit, Archangels, and Spirit Guides. You're keeping that person in your energy. Asuna, calling in Asuna's guides, Asuna Sands guides, calling in Ranga's guides. Tell me, what does she need to know about this connection here? I'm telling you, the White Empress, I'm right about that. You need to forgive that person. I saw it in the cards, and then it came out on the oracles as well. Right when I said it, too, it came out. Calling in Asuna Sands person. Ranga, calling in Asuna Sands guides, calling in her person, Ranga's guides. What does she need to know about this connection here? If anyone cannot wait, donations will skip the line. Donations must be minimum $3 and up, please. It's not fair. I think even $3 is not fair to the other people, but I know not everyone can afford, you know, and, and they ne never get rid. 33.33, you can book me. So, sorry, I wasn't ready for that. Holy Spirit, Archangels, and Spirit Guys. Tell me, Ranga, how does he feel about Asuna Stan? Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, what happened with this person? Anything happened? Is there some sort of separation here? Okay, Six of Cups in reverse is like someone you know from the past. This is also someone, uh, I don't know if they did something to you here. Where are you, Asuna? Did you guys have like a fallout or something? The Six of Cups is like someone you grew up with, someone you've known for a long time, you've been friends with. Also, soulmate energy here. Okay, something. There was some fallout here. It's either you're angry at this person or this person is upset with something that you did. Okay? How else is this person feeling about Asuna? Death. Someone feels like it's over or this could be a Scorpio energy here. It doesn't have to be. King of Blades. Someone got evidence or got caught of something here. Okay. I don't know if you caught this person doing something. Or well, there's some sort of evidence here of someone doing something here. So now they feel like they got caught. It's over. Or you may feel that you discovered some, some truth or some words were spoken here. And someone feels like the, the relationship is over. We also got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone who could be emotionally unavailable as well. Okay, the King of Swords is very logical. He's not very emotional. What is this person's intentions? Cards are difficult. What is this person's intentions? They're nice, but they're big and they're very well made. So it's hard to, the cheap ones are easier. Ten of Wands. Okay, so this person has a lot of burdens or they create a lot of burdens or they're very stressed out or they have a lot of, this person may have a lot of stress. Okay, whether it's their intentions or not, this is someone who creates burdens around people or they're, they're very stressful or they have a lot going on, okay, or a lot of bills or they work a lot or 
you know, they're always like stressed out. Okay, so I feel like the energy of this person brings you stress as well. Because this is in their intentions. What is, give me more. Or oh, this person may be worried they're running out of time. This person could be worried they're running out of time. They got caught or there's something. They feel like something's ended. And they could be stressed out if they don't do something about it. Okay? Or if they don't call you or text you that they're going to be out of time. And they don't know what to do, how to deal or handle it. This person did something here. I don't know what. So I also, if it's not about burdens or stress, this is burdening. This could be burdening your person because there's a time clock in the back and it's like divine time. Okay. Um, and there's a phone call there or there's some stress going on here or this person has a lot of stress in their life. There's a phone coming call coming in. Or they could actually, this person could be dealing a lot with in their life. And you may be calling this person and they're not answering the phone. Or they're not replying to your texts or responding to you. They have a lot going on around them. So they have something going on. So maybe if it's, it's not that they don't want to, they got stuff going on around them that it's, it's, it's creating burning. It's like work. I don't know if that's to do with work or something they're doing here. The Ten of Cups. So this person is, this person does have a lot of love for you. They see so, that someone they can have a good life with. They could build a home with, have children with. This is someone they feel like um, they could uh, grow with, okay? Grow a family with, commit to. So this person does see that, okay? I don't know if your person has issues or baggage or things going on from the past. Sometimes Ten of Wands can be like someone holding on a lot of their past and then they bring it into their connections. So I don't know if this person also could have another family member here or family or children somewhere. It doesn't have to resonate, but it's possible because there's children here and there's uh, this person could actually have like a family or children somewhere else or maybe their family. They're very like rooted into their family. Okay, maybe there's issues with their family, you know that keep them busy or occupied or, um, or there's something going on there. So let's see, what is this person's actions towards Asuna? The lovers in reverse. <clears throat> so lovers is like a separation in reverse. Okay. I hate to say it, it's separation, not making another choice or a decision here. It's a decision that needs to be made. Why is there a choice, decision, or why is the separation? Eight of Cups in reverse. So it wanted to come out upright. Eight of Cups in reverse is like someone returning. Tell me more about that Eight of Cups. I feel like there's something they're still kind of attached to from their past. Um, they may take it out on you too. It's almost like they project what someone else did on you. This is what I'm hearing. Yeah, we have the star card. So I think Aquarius energy. There is a possibility, Gemini here. There is a possibility that this person will return with the Eight of Cups here in reverse. Eight of Cups is like walking away and then making a decision to kind of return and heal the connection. Okay. Aquarius energy here. King of Coins. Could be Earth, Fire. Excuse me. Ergo. Bur what am I saying, child? <laughs> Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus here. Or this could be someone who, who owns a business, who has money. If they don't, this is just an earth sign. This is someone who's like, okay, I'm here. I'm ready to fix things, heal things. Um, but you may come off guarded when this person does that. Or maybe they're wanting to fight, come back and fight for the connection here. Because this is their actions. Yeah, I think this person is going to try to defend or fight for this connection here. To either heal it, to fix it, to return to it. Okay? So I think there's something else going on with this person that you don't really know about. Um, or they don't express it. Because they do come off as someone who's not very emotional. So they think a lot. They don't really say a lot. You may get all... This person never really, like, tells you a lot. Like, or, like, if they talk to you, it's like you ask them, like, emotional things. And they don't respond. Or they don't... They, don't, they may respond with short sentences or not at all. Hey, show empathy. Wasn't there someone else who was a new sub here? Did I not write that person? Glass Rose. Did I write you Glass Rose? No, I didn't. I was so busy answering your question. I didn't write you. 
glass rose. Okay, and we have here, please hit that like button, everyone in that room. Show empathy. Oh, I'm a big empathy person. I, sometimes they say it's like an empath has the strongest gifts, right? Because your emotions intensifies your gifts, right? But for me, it's if you don't really, like, if you're still learning them and you don't understand what those gifts are, it could be very painful and, and, and affects your, like, health at some point. It just does. Uh, picking up everyone's energies. Sometimes not fun at all. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm glad that he will fight for this connection. Yeah, I mean, look at it. There's a heart. There's a tree. Okay. So, I don't know. Also, if other people around you or in the, like, family members or friends, like, there's a lot of third party here of people um, who who are always like against the connection or they always want to put their two cents in or they want to always yap in your person's ear about the connection and they don't know what's going on or what they're talking about. I'm hearing jealous. Some people could be jealous of your connection. Okay, so what is the what is the outcome here? Excuse me, how do they view? How does this person view Asuna? How does this person... Oh my God, these cards are horrid. Cute but horrid. How does this person view Asuna? The devil in reverse, okay? So, I don't know. I feel like this person, I don't know if you're, they may think you're a little bit toxic, okay? The devil in reverse. Or, you know, the devil's in reverse. So maybe they feel like you're the opposite of the devil. You're more controlled. You're more, I'm hearing like angelic. Or you're more someone who maybe helps them. You, you, may, you may be someone, if they have any kind of toxic traits, uh, how they view you is someone who helps them uh, fight those, those those their demons, okay? Four of Wands is someone who sees a commitment they or they like to celebrate with you. This is how they view you. Or they may be feeling like you're letting... They could be feeling like... Okay, so how they view you is they could be feeling like you're someone who, who, who's letting them go, maybe because they're toxic. Four of Wands talks about celebrating, having a good time with friends. Okay, also, this is kind of the card of commitment and marriage here. So also, they may feel like you're out there. Uh, they, they may think that they could think that you have someone else or they could think that you're out there celebrating and having a good old time and you forgot about them because we do have the death card here and how they feel about you. Okay, and we have the five of swords. They think you're playing games on them. I'm getting like a jealous energy here. Like this person thinks they're mad. <laughs> Or they like to cook. I don't know if this person likes to cook. Um, there's something about food here, though. This guy's in the kitchen. He's cooking. He, or maybe he's thinking about a plan. But I think I don't like the plan. How this person goes about getting you or, or getting... I'm not hearing like getting you or getting you back. It's almost like this person has like a lot of love for you. But at the same time, there could be a little bit of jealousy here, I feel. Maybe it's the jealous fact is how you can let them go. And maybe like they maybe you're showing them that you're not affected by it. So you may be throwing this person off. Like, even though you are affected by it and you're telling me about it, they, they may not know that. They may not know that it's actually affecting you. They may think that you're just going on about your life and you're letting them go. Okay, and it makes this person very angry. Hurting people like to hurt people too. I'm getting that energy, like this is someone who who hurts people, but it's their way of, it's an ego thing. It's their way of, of, of not letting someone else hurt them or like always having control over the situation or the person or, or the, or the relationship. So this person has a very big ego. They go tit for tat a lot too. That's if someone goes tit for tat a lot. And it's so stupid. It's like, they're creating like competition where there's no competition or a need to compete. When someone loves you and cares about you, why are you competing with them? Right? Why are you trying to purposely hurt someone or sabotage the connection instead of simply just saying, I'm sorry, or open up and explain what is really going on? Because I guarantee you, if you tell this person tells you why they, they, they're pulled back or why they're disconnected or why they're this and that, you would understand better and you would be less stressful to them <laughs> you know it'd be easier you know to just work around that so let's see here 
So let's see. Um, what is the outcome here? The Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. Be careful with that. Aries, Leo, Sag. The Queen of Wands for me is like a karmic. So I don't know. Does this person have another person that they had children with? Or maybe they were connected to? Or they had a family with? Or they live with? Ten of Swords talks about... Um, the Ten of Swords in reverse talks about forgiving, releasing. Maybe this person is going through that. Or this is what... The Two of Cups is in reverse. So that's a soulmate in reverse. There's some sort of separation here. I don't know... You know, I don't know. Tell me, what is the issue, Asuna, with this person? Do they have someone in the past that they had children with? Or they plan on having children with? Or maybe marrying or something like that. I'm talking about a connection that they still may talk about and they feel hurt about. And maybe they told this to you. Red flag, by the way, if you didn't catch it when someone does that. Tell me about this person because I need to know before I move forward. Because I want to tell you something, but I need to make sure. That that's really what they're showing me here. They could still be trying to separate from something here. Emotionally. Like they have to forgive something here. In order to really connect with you. Yeah. I feel like that's the problem here, Asuna. The problem here is someone in their past hurt them. Whether they, listen, they may say, oh, this person hurt me. But maybe they hurt each other, right? And they had a very deep connection. They could have been a karmic connection. And I feel like this person did something to them. Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very selfish when she's in reverse. Okay? This is someone they just look at for their looks or whatever. Or uh, this is someone who's very, like, maybe either sexually active or kind of, like, freaky. or But in a very unhealthy, toxic way. Because if your person is coming off a little toxic, I'm pretty sure what they were attracted to is toxic. Two of Cups is in reverse. It's like a separation or forgiveness, forgiving someone here. So maybe they're they're ending ties with someone here, okay? And you don't know that this is going on because it's in their, their energy of Ten of Wands next to the Ten of Cups also. So I feel like maybe they know it's a problem. Like this person, you know, is sabotage. This person is like, whatever the situation it is, it sabotages all their relationships until they, they heal and forgive this person. So let's see. What is the advice you have for Asuna? Autumn, you're in the list. You're after um, Ify Zion. Uh, before Ify Zion is Infinity Aysen. So what is the outcome here? I mean, the temperance. I'm sorry. This is the uh, advice here. We have temperance. They're saying, uh, you know, kind of staying grounded. Uh, this person is a little stubborn. Okay, I don't know if this person got earrings or tattoos or they wear a mask because there's a mask on his shirt, mask looking thing. Uh, there's two juices here. It's almost like polar opposites. One is red, passionate. The other one's green. So I feel like one of you is like very loving and passionate. The other one's like money, 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 or they, they delve. I don't know why I'm getting that type of energy. One of them, one of you delve more into your, your work and money, you know, not your emotions. Um... And I feel like spirit is divine. This is like kind of like a divine connection here, I feel. Because if you notice, normally in a regular tarot deck, there's an angel in the back. So it's like you're meant to teach each other something here. So patience, forgiveness, understanding, okay? Healthy balance between the two of you. Um, don't give in to their tit for tat. Don't, don't fight with them. Because you're, you're giving your energy away to this person and, and your power as well. Any other advice here? Hi, Shakira. Any other advice here, Spirit? The Hierophant. Every time I see the Hierophant, okay, and depending where it's at, it's like stay true to yourself here, okay? Stay true to your belief systems. Don't, don't, mm, don't give in to this person because they're act. I'm hearing straight up the word stupid. Like they're acting foolish. Don't give it to this person. This person is, I'm getting like emotionally immature. Nine of coins. Spirit wants you to focus on yourself. Grow your spirituality. Work on yourself. Read and bask. Like something about being dependent. So spirit's going to help you be very uh, independent here. Okay. Spirit's going to help you. It's like reaping the fruits of your labor. Like you're a good person. You've planted good seeds. And spirit wants to bless you and those seeds. 
Okay, so Spirit wants you to somehow find a way to get grounded over this situation. Create balance, healing, forgiveness if it needs to be, even if this person don't deserve it. And focus on you. Focus on your spirituality. Focus on growing. Focus on yourself here. This is like someone who may come in every now and then. They come back and they serenade you. Okay? See, you both are wearing two purple skirts. That's a divine connection. Like, you guys were meant to come and meet each other and learn something from each other. Okay? This person eventually, I feel like, is going to come back and they might try to serenade you and beg you for, like, forgiveness. I don't know. I'm seeing, like, this looks like a train station. There's pigeons. I don't know if New York has any. Or, like, a city. City life is where you're from. Doesn't have to be. Because normally you see this, like, on the city trains. <laughs> like, someone may do something in public, try to serenade you in public to get your attention. Maybe you decide to, because this is what spirit wants you to do. Focus on yourself. Forgive this person and let them handle what they need to handle and take care of. You have the straight car reverse. So don't, don't, I'm telling you, don't give in to this person. Okay. Don't give in to, uh, you know, don't let their, don't let them project on you what they got going on in their life. You need, I think you need to be showing a little bit more self-restraint with this person. Like, hold back a little bit. Push this person back a little bit. Create some sort of boundaries with this person, okay? Because I feel like Spirit is saying, like, this person needs time to heal. And if they keep coming back into your energy unhealed, it's going to affect you. It's going to hurt you, okay? Yes, I think so. And, you know, a sooner you should never wait for anyone. Because you don't know how long this person is going to take to heal from this. You should continue to be in this Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, excuse me, the Nine of Cups. Oh, excuse me, Nine of Pentacles. Why did I say that? He's, she's holding a cup, sorry. <laughs> it's the Nine of Pentacles that I thought originally. So the Nine of Pentacles is, is independence, single, working hard, working on oneself, growing oneself spiritually. Because I feel like this connection is helping you grow. And Spirit wants you to tap into that. I'm here to tap into that gift. There's a gift that you have. This part of your life purpose, okay? He's also going to provide for you financially. You will be provided for, okay? He's, he's saying to let you know that you will provide it for in this time. Like, things are going to be going really well for you. While this person, you might see them going through some karma, okay? Three of coins, yeah. So, I think, I don't know if this, this person is having money issues as well. It's possible. This person could be have money issues. Knight of Blades. And I feel like this person... They take it out on you. I mean, look at this guy's face. Look what he's doing to the girl. He's working, right? And he's cutting her hair, but he's taking out his anger and frustration on her hair. So, Spirit is also saying, don't think that there's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you, okay? Three of Swords. Yeah, there could have been some heartbreak here. Three of Swords. Someone's still healing from a heartbreak here, okay? Whether it be you or this person. This person may project what they've been through in their past on you. And Spirit is saying, it has nothing to do with you. How they feel about you has nothing to do with you. It's how they feel inside and about what's happened to them. And they're almost like being forced to heal that part of themselves. Their spirit's like forcing this person. Uh, what is the mutual feeling between the two? This part is being healed. They're being like forced to, to heal themselves. Because I think it's been going on for too long. This person does this. They think they could just keep doing this. King of Wands. Like they hurt people often. Okay, it's not just you. This person, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sash. I don't know if that's who you're dealing with. This person is very passionate. There is an attraction. I think you're both attracted to each other. Even if this person may not show it, it's their way of controlling things. Uh, three of Cups. Three of Cups. Um, I do feel like both of you do want to reunite. When you guys are together, I feel like there are times when you guys have a lot of fun. Or you talk about a lot of like good conversations. Um, or like, you know, there are good times. So I think you both make each other happy when things are good and that you're both passionate or attracted. There's a chemistry between the two of you. That's the mutual feeling between the two of you moving forward. Okay. So you got to explain that to uh, Hey Sarah, you need to explain that to uh, glass rose. So she's like, these readings, they all feel like they're donation readings. Imagine what I will give you. If you give me a personal private reading with you. All right. <clears throat> Asuna, that's what I have for you. Infinity, I, Sun, you're next. And you are a... I didn't write down Shakira. And you are a um, donator. 
Autumn, Asuna Sen, I got her. By Misha, Rashi, Shakira came in. Um, Sarah. I like love readings, they're easier for me. <laughs> Anybody got love readings? All right. Sometimes they only show who's in the chat, so. I'll tell you who's here, Shakira. We have here Infinity Sun, Ify Zion, Autumn, Mylesha, Milasha, Roshima, Anubav, Glass Rose, Show Empathy, Shakira, and Sarah. I will call the names because sometimes they're in the room, but they're not chatting and it's not showing as participant. Okay, so next person is Ify, excuse me, Infinity I Sun. Can you please post your question? Infinity I Sun. And she donated. Yeah, you know, I was going crazy some time ago with that. I'm like, these people are not here. They're like, we're here, we're here. Infinity I Sun. I'm ready to read you. I need your question. Or just say yes, you're here. And then think, write your question. She posted. Oh, you're saying to post. She was wondering when I read the first person, why, or was it you? Was it you? Why it was so, oh, yeah, it was the first person. Why was it so um, long? And this is how I promote myself. And this is just how I read. I cannot give you less than. I would feel stupid if I came on here and just gave you yes and no answers, which I can with these BS cards over here. I use them sometimes. They're like yes, no answers. Okay, where is, is this person at? Because my time is like really, you know how my time is. Infinity I Sun, are you there? I'm going to have to skip you. Infinity I Sun, I will have to skip you. Okay, skipping. That's it. I've called too many times. All right. Uh, Ify Zion. Oh, Ify Zion. We'll go back to her because she did donate. I don't know where the hell she went. Okay, we got deck number one. Ooh, you got the Illu uh, Illuminati deck. By the way, guys, I changed out all the decks. I see you guys. And for those who missed it, I'm using Jeremy, my son Jeremy, his his... Instead of throwing out all his artwork, I'm using it to put names on because it's just a waste of paper. And I hate waste of paper. So I feel like a lot of you are going to have a tower moment. You see that? But it's going to be a good tower moment. There's going to be two doors, right? Two doors. You're going to have to choose a door. Are you going to go back to the old door? Or are you going to shut the old door and go into a new door? Which I feel like is going to bring a good, a good tower moment. Also, I feel like this is you. This may be your pet or this may be your spirit animal or spirit guides watching over you as you go through this tower moment. But I feel like it's a good it's a good change. As long as you don't go back through the same door, I think if you go in through the new door, you're going to have a good tower moment. Are you guys seeing this picture here? You see? New door, old door. Close one door so the new one can open. Tower moment. This is you. This is your spirit animals or your guides watching over you as you go through this tower moment. <laughs> I can make a tarot reading out of anything. So you have two doors. You got two paths. Pick a path. Tower moment. This is you with a sad face. Very unhappy here. Your spirit guides are leading you towards this tower moment. But you need to choose a door. That is a collective reading. Okay? No tips for my son. No tips. No tips for Jeremy. <laughs> I, I can make a reading out of anything. <laughs> All right. If he's Zion. What's for me? Relationship, family, and money. Relationship. All right. Let's do three. I'm going to do this a little different. Okay. Hey, Milacha. How you doing? I, let me write her. Oh, I already got Milacha. Um, I already got you now. Holy Spirit are calling in. Uh, if he's Zion calling in her guys, my guys. What do our guys need to know? Let's see. Let's talk about relationship. Relationship, family, money, and then we'll we'll do one for relationship. 
and family, and then one for money. There's already relationship. King of Cups in reverse. There's someone around you. It could be a water sign. doesn't have to be. Or they may have addictions or they drink a lot. Or they're emotionally unavailable. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's see. Family and... Hey, Brooklyn Loves Cakes. I love her name. Brooklyn, do you make... Do you bake or something? Are you going to be a baker? Unless the cakes is your booty cakes. <laughs> your butt cheeks. <laughs> The alchemist in reverse. Someone who's emotionally manipulative is around you, my dear. Who is this? If he's Zion, who are you dealing with? An emotional manipulator. Someone is manipulating on your emotions. Whether it be a love partner or a family member. This is for love and family. The Hierophant could be a Taurus. We have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Taurus, doesn't have to be. Just think about the energy of the person. You like cakes? <laughs> cool. You gonna make, you, you love, you should make, maybe you should be a, maybe you should make cakes if you love them so much. Queen of Pentacles, okay? Queen of Pentacles, I don't know if this is your energy here. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Or this is someone who's uh, very worthy, someone who knows their worth here. This could also be a mother energy too. How's your relationship with your mother next to the higher font? You know what I'm hearing right away? If if you deal with your mom, this may not resonate, but let's see what I'm getting out of this. This could be someone who expects you to um, go by traditional values or traditional upbringing. And it's like, you just want to break away from that. You want to break out. You might've been a little bit of a rebellious child We ended already since last week. My mom is late. What What do you mean by late? So, like, if you're so, this is something about traditional values. Uh, oh, the Hierophant is also a Taurus. Okay, so that could be your person, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this is someone who could be preying on the fact that they know you want some sort of commitment or relationship. They're manipulating on your emotions. Be careful with that person. This is not a Suna anymore. Infinity, I called you. I th like Everybody tell her I called her like for a whole two minutes. She didn't respond. You're going to have to go after Ify Zion. Uh, she died some years back. Oh. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, well, it doesn't have to be your mom, okay? Uh, but it's a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I feel this could be a relationship. Sometimes I get more than one message, so take it how it resonates. So I don't know if your your mom, it being that a mother, the Queen of Pentacles could be you or it could be a mother, okay? But I feel more so what I'm getting right now um, is that, oh, I'm hearing like your mom would want you to have like a relationship that's, Maybe your mom was very either religious or like very traditional. Like you have to get married and no sex before marriage or just stressing you to get married first. You know, uh, how parents want us to do like everything the way they were brought up or taught, whether they did it or not. Okay. Uh, that was one message. But the main message I'm getting here coming towards you is someone who's emotionally manipulative and unavailable. And they're taking advantage of the fact that they know you want commitment and they know you want them to offer you something. But it's there the out with the alchemist in reverse is really someone. This is the magician in reverse. Okay. And the magician is someone who this is what it looks like upright if you want to see it. This is someone who manipulates your emotions. I saw you, Brooklyn Loves Cake. I heard it. King of Cups is a manipulator, emotional manipulator. They, they, they're they unavailable emotionally, so they can manipulate with other, other people's emotions because they don't feel, they don't feel any, they don't feel any em empathy. This is someone who does not feel empathy. So coming towards you, this is what's coming towards you. Eight of Cups, this person walked away from you or they could have, they could have abandoned, or you may, oh, why am I hearing abandoned? But this is someone who either you walked away from or they walked away from you because it's right underneath the King of Cups. 
I'm hearing like this person just emotionally closed off. Walked away from the connection or you walked away. Somebody walked away here. Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this person might return and they may try to offer you a new beginning, a new start. But I don't trust this person because it's right underneath the magician in reverse. Okay? So it's a manipulative tactic. They prey on the fact that you want a commitment. So if this person comes like in and out your life and then they return, they're going to offer you what you want to hear. You may not want to hear that. The moon in reverse. Something that's hidden or something that's... Uh, they have hidden agenda. The moon is like a hidden agenda or something getting revealed about this, this Hierophant, this Taurus person. Or there's something hidden about the offer they're trying to give you here. There's still, a, you might be like karmic soulmates, Iffy. Two of Pentacles. I think, I feel like you, you released this idea or this person already or someone released you. Two, two of Pentacles in reverse is like someone dropping something, releasing something, letting go of something. So Queen of Pentacles, this could be you letting them go or you feel like they let you go and they released you. So you may feel like this is already over. Okay. I'm going to give you one more row here. But I feel like this person holds on to you because they feel like they could come, come. In. I'm getting the energy of this person could come, think they, they could come in and out whenever they want to. That's where you got to draw the line, okay? You need to draw that line. Like, no, you cannot. Ten of Wands. This person has a lot of baggage or a lot of problems, a lot of issues, or they carry a lot of things on their shoulder. This is right under the King of Cups. This is someone who brings a lot of burdens or drama to your life because they have a lot of burdens. They have a lot of drama. I'm hearing they have a lot of karma. And this may be from other things before you. This person has brought a lot of problems onto themselves. Okay? Whether it be with you or with other people. And the re reason why this person has, why, why I'm hearing a lot of drama, karma, and, and, and things, burdens, is because they're constantly hurting and manipulating people. Because they may have something they're hurting from and they refuse to get help for it. Or uh, some sort of addiction here. I keep seeing the seven of wands with you, like boundaries. You need boundaries. Hey, Autumn. So we have two people that donated, right? Brooklyn Loves Cake and then Autumn. But before Brooklyn Loves Cake and Autumn, hold on. We have Infinity Eye Sun I need to go back to. So we'll take Brooklyn and Autumn. Oh, Autumn's right here. Together. Six of Swords. This person is definitely returning back. Every you be, so every time you guys have a fallout, I'm hearing like it's a, it feels like a tower. It feels like a really bad fallout that you can't recover from. This is how they emotional manipulate. They make you think that it's totally over. They're totally done with you block you they don't talk to you they ghost you i don't know why spirit's putting this in my head and then they come right back act like nothing happened and they expect you to pick off where they left off like here i got something for you maybe this person gives you something or gives you money or they offer you something that you can't say no to you have unfinished business this is a cycle there's a lesson here you haven't learned yet That's why they keep coming back. Seven of Pentacles. So the Seven of Pentacles in reverse for me is like a waste of time or lack of patience or some sort. Like this person is not really in it to win it. Like this person. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles is when you really want something. You plant the seeds. You watch it grow. You nurture it. So take that and put it in reverse. Not nurturing. Not growing. Impatient. Not really planting seeds for the long haul. Not looking to reap the rewards. Not looking to invest. Not looking to uh, grow something. So this person has a hidden agenda. So whenever I'm hearing whatever things go wrong in their life or whoever they're dealing with. Like let's say if there's someone who jumps from partner to partner. Or if they jump into like just working. 
like things around them fail all the time, like their money or the people they talk to or the people like they they're like the grass is greener somewhere else. Let me go see what, what it's like. And then when they feel like it's no good, they come right back to you and then they do it again. Every time you get emotionally too close to them, they disappear. He'll be back, honey. You'll be back telling me he's back. He's coming back. I see two. Let me see how many cards say he's coming back. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles says he's coming back. And so does the Six of Swords in reverse. It tells me he left too. The Lovers in reverse. This is like someone making a decision. They may be juggling you and someone else. Is there someone else that you know of? Gemini energy here. Nine of Wands. Yeah, they're dropping something else or something is giving up. But well, this could be your energy here. You could be thinking about this. You, I think, I think you gave up. I'm feeling like you gave up on this person. You're like, you know what? I give up. I released this situation. The lovers in reverse. Uh, I'm done. I've made a decision. Nine of Wands. I'm no longer going. Nine of Wands. Everything is like in reverse here. I'm, I'm no longer wasting my time. I'm not moving forward with this person. I give up. For me, in reverse, that Nine of Wands is like, I give up. Because if you weren't giving up, we'll go to number 10. And we're stuck at number 9, and he's in reverse. I give up on the situation. This person does this all the time. They go back and forth all the time. They never choose. They never know what they want. And I'm tired. It's affecting me emotionally. I know what I'm worth, and I know what I deserve. And it ain't this shit. This is how you're speaking. And I feel like <clears throat> this person is going to keep coming around until you put your foot down. That's the lesson in this. Energetically, you may be still hurt by this. So it's like, there's something you need to do. There's something you need to say without like attacking or being like harsh or non-compassionate. Don't change who you are because of what this person's done. You know, like there needs to be some forgiveness and some like cord cutting, releasing here. Like that's it. You know, you're not gonna play with me. You're not gonna toy me. You're not gonna come in and out of my life. Don't be afraid to tell this person how you feel. You know, stand your ground. They're going to keep trying. Don't get me wrong. They'll keep trying. But you got to keep putting your foot down. And I feel like that's when this, you'll see the world card. The world card. Because this is someone who doesn't equally put into the relationship. This is someone who, who breadcrumbs you. Or, they, or they're or constantly uh, get, getting more than what they're giving. When it comes to emotions. Or they may reciprocate. Some, some, some would reciprocate by buying you things. As a way of showing like, yeah, she'll stay with me because I buy her things. Or she'll stay with me because I give her money. Or if that's not the case, it's about breadcrumbing and emotionally not giving you what you give them. There's a lesson here. The reason why, even, whether you want this person in your energy or not, is because you're not doing something here correctly. There's a lesson that needs to, there's something that you need to speak how you feel. I'm not saying attack this person. I'm not saying curse this person out. I'm not saying... Do anything low vibrational, but when you're calm and you speak clearly and you and you listen, right, you'll you'll get a better understanding of who this person really is. And it'll help you emotionally heal and detach from this person. It's just a cycle that you guys are in. Any outcomes here that she needs to know? Three of Wands. Your ships are coming in. Something's coming in for you. What is that? The Nine of Cups. You're about to receive wish fulfillment. There's something that you've been waiting for that's about to come in for you. It's going to make you very, very happy. What is that? What's going to make her happy? The Hermit. This could be a Virgo. The Star talks about healing. Aquarius. Or this is like a wish or a dream that you've been waiting on. It's coming in. Seven of Wands. Talks about being guarded or protecting your energy or uh, defending yourself. You need to defend yourself. Protect yourself. Defend yourself. The wheel, things are moving in your favor. You have good luck coming towards you. I feel like this person is falling off the wheel. This person is eventually is going to fall off the wheel here. This person is in your karmic wheel. Things are going to move forward in your favor here. You're going to heal and there's a wish or there's, there's something about you doing the inner work or the healing work here and wish fulfillment is coming in for you. Your ships are coming in. There's something better coming in for you, but... Every time something is doing good for you or coming in for you, or let's say you're trying to move on or you start dating someone else, this person all of a sudden comes out of the woodwork. You know why? 
they feel that energetically that you're disconnecting from them because this is a karmic soulmate. They feel you energetically pulling away and they don't feel you in their energy anymore. And that's when they eventually they run back all. And when they run back, what do they do? The same shit until you do something about it. I'm not saying try to hurt this person back, but let them know what it is. Like really let them know, but not like in a way like F you, like you piece of this, you piece of that. Like do it from a place where like God would do it from. It's funny you said God. Do it from a place where God, how God would say, like, I forgive you, but I moved on. I no longer want to be with you. And that's what it is. They're going to keep trying. And you just keep putting up them, them boundaries. All right. Let me see. I got a little something for you here. But you got good things coming to you. You have, like, wish fulfillment. There's some wish or dream or something you've been wanting or a plan. I don't know if you've been waiting on something here or manifesting something here. It's about to happen for you. Practice feng shui, create a sacred space. So that's more like you finding a place where you can pray, you can manifest, you can thank God, you can pray, you can surrender things that are bothering you, you can let them go. That's where your sacred space is, okay? Uh, show off your sparkle and shine from the inside. You got a gift, honey, and you need to show it. That's what that's saying. Anything to surrender here real quick? You have surrender, comparison with other people. So maybe there's something that you do. You feel like maybe I'm not going to be good enough. Or there's so many good people out there. I feel like you are good. You're just not seeing the, you're not seeing the fruits of your labor just yet. Because spirit wants you to do something here first. Uh, to close out a cycle. And then it's like the gifts come in after that. Okay. One more. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. It's time to get selfish, girl. Start, start speaking of what you want in your life and stop trying to cater to everybody else. Listen, I'm an empath. I've been there. I've done that. And it didn't mean no justice. People think I'm a B-I-T-C-H now, but I'm not. I just have boundaries. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. You might be empathic too. Like you're always trying to help people. Or people prey on the fact that you're always trying to help or give. And not everybody's going to think like you. Not everybody's going to love like you. Not everyone's going to care like you. And that's the problem where you have to protect your energy. Because there are people who are going to be energy vampires. And they're going to suck the life out of you. Some people are dark. They, they go more for the dark side. And they, they feed off their dark energy. And therefore, they cannot produce light. So what do they do? They come to Iffy Zion who has light. And they, they take her light. They take her energy. They take to so they can't take no more. And you may be going through that with multiple people in your life, not just relationships. The relationship was just karmically brought to you to show you that it's a pattern that you need to break within yourself. You have the lovers. This is the decision you need to make here, a choice. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. Speaking of about two paths ahead, you got two paths ahead. Let's go back to the drawing here. See, this is a collective reading. You have two doors. The ex is going to come back, or you can say, you know what, I'm going to close that door. I'm going to close this in a very compassionate way, and I'm going to enter this new door. So close one door, new door. Close one door, and that's going to create a tower moment. And that's you, like, heading towards this tower, dealing with something that maybe you didn't want to deal with, but it's going to have a positive outcome if you choose a different door, right? Your spirit guides are behind you. Maybe your spirit guide is like a dog or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My, my toddler to gave you a reading. <laughs> Jeremy gave you a reading, okay, guys? And it has to do with a lover. And there's something about being patient. Divine time is at play here. So if there's something you've been working on or something you've been waiting for, it's divine time. There's a wish coming in for you. Look, the star card. You're about to give birth to something new here, okay? But there's a cycle that's closing out here first before this wish or this dream happens here. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. Birth, universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility, okay? Key, new beginnings, this direction and directions and adventures await for those ready to be let go of the past. I'm going to say that again. New beginnings, directions, and awareness, excuse me, and adventures await for those who are ready to let go of the past. So the key is to, the key is to one of these doors, and I feel like it's the new door. So if your past returns, they're telling you, shut that door, do it correctly, forgive that person, move forward into that new door. Tower moment. It's a good tower moment. Chariot. It's going to be successful. The fool. Take a leap of faith. Move forward into the unknown fearlessly. And when I say move forward into the unknown fearlessly, I'm talking about you need to 
Forget about your past. Let your past go and see what else is out there. Go with the unfamiliar. If you don't know what to do, this person returns. They're going to return. You have the snake here. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. But be careful. This person is a snake. They do this all the time. See? Unity. But I feel like there's other connections coming in as well. You're about to travel. You're about to go on a journey. You're about to get something here which has to do with wish fulfillment. Dreams coming true or something you've been manifesting. Yes, girl, but do it correctly. Don't don't come from a place of anger, hurt, and resentment. Say, you know what? I appreciate the lessons that I learned with this person. I forgive this person. I forgive myself in case I, I, I turned into a monster because of crazy because of this person and did something that I normally wouldn't do. So you got to forgive yourself too. And you got to just release this person. Say, you know, I forgive you. Hope you forgive me. Even if they don't, oh, well, they don't deserve probably forgiveness. You probably think that too. But this is how you're going to be able to cut that cord, that energetic, energy cord so that you can move on, so you can move forward. So that the blessings that want to come in for you Okay, they were being held back from you. Could be held. It's because you're in a cycle, a karmic cycle. And the world, we need to see that world card come out to show that that cycle was ended. It's over. It's done with. Finito. And then the chapter, it's a new chapter of your life that happens for you. All right, that's what I got for you there. If he's Zion, Brooklyn loves cake. Oh no, Infinity I Sun. Sorry. Yeah, you changed though, right? But I feel like you learned a hard lesson there. You woke up. This is the person that got you woke, basically. This person is a catalyst to your to your growth, so to your success. This person is going to push you onto your life path. This person is probably everything. You realize after a while that this person is probably everything that you don't want. <laughs> but you were so attracted to. And you thought you'd never get out. But, but I feel like you have. Uh, how does Leo feel about me? Does he have romantic feelings for me? Okay. Infinity I Sun. After Infinity I Sun is Brooklyn Loves Cake. And then Autumn. And then Milasha Rashima. I don't know if I'm getting to everybody. So if you guys can't wait. I'm thinking about doing a second live. But y'all know I hate to read my, my toddler here. He's so distracting. Maybe if I have energy tonight, I, I might pop back on. Let's see how I feel. Because when he gets in, I'm an empath. So, him, between him and my teenager, I absorb all their energies. And I'm really working on balancing that. And I get a lot of anxiety from that. And I really try to control that because I'm so empath empathic that I feel, that's why I can't have, like, if someone does drugs, like people who get, like, like the anxiety from drugs, you know what I mean? Or the after effects or the withdrawals. I can tell when someone's getting a withdrawal. If I'm feeling, if I'm very connected to someone, I can feel the withdrawals without being next to them. And it's very uncomfortable. Like, I'm feeling very uncomfortable right now <clears throat> talking about it. All right. Uh, where's my dice at? Jesus, Lord. Where's my dice? Which one of y'all stole my dice? All right. We have number three. That big old deck that's a pain in the ass. Okay. Okay, so let's see. And um, who am I reading? Infinity I Sun. Calling it Infinity I Sun. Let's clear this deck. Infinity I Sun. Tell me. Um, oh, I know it wasn't you. It was. It wasn't you who said that your, my readings were too long. It was um, Glass Rose. Which I think she was just wondering if it was a donation reading or not. I don't think she meant anything by it. But I just felt like I, I talk about why my reading is so long. Because I know there's some new people in the room. I know it wasn't you. Maybe somebody said it was you. No, it was Glass Rose. I wrote it down. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Archangels, and Spirit Guides. Give me messages here for um, Infinity Isom. Tell me about her Leo person calling in Infinity, calling in Infinity Isom. Calling in her guides, my guides, her person's guides. He's a Leo, right? Her person's guides. Not that I care. It's going to come out anyway. People be giving me birth dates and all this shit. Spirit knows who I'm talking to and your guys know I'm talking to you. So I feel like as long as I invite them in, they already know the basics and the details. Well, we got two cards sitting here. I'm going to shuffle that again. 
pulling in my guides, your guides, and putting in Iso's guides. See, your guides, your angels, God, Spirit, Holy Spirit, we have free will. And if you don't ask for help and you don't invite them in, they, they will, they'll just sit there waiting around for you to say, are you ready to let us in? Are you going to ask for help? So sometimes in life, we'll go through brokenness or rock bottom. And it's because Spirit is like, please, could you just let me in so I can help you? <laughs> and that's a collective energy. Like, that's just for all of y'all. All right, calling it. Oh, that was quick. This is not. Oh, the strength card. So we got the Leo card coming out here. So right away, Spirit is showing me your person. The Leo card just popped out. So I think they're trying to say, listen to what the hell she's saying. Because <laughs> we're talking now. Uh, I feel like your spirit guides are being very clear here. We have Leo energy coming out right here, honey. Okay, this person, do they have a dog or a black dog? If not, they don't have to. This is just a dog. Okay, so let's see. Um, I just saw a picture of dog. That's why I said that. All right, Infinity Isa. Let's see. What is your person? How are they feeling about you right now? Nine of coins. They feel like you're acting very single. You're living your best life. You're not caring much. Or well, this is someone that kind of sees you like they put you on a pedestal. Like you, you're very independent. You're very... Um, they feel like you're very independent. They feel like you are you got it together. I don't know if you got a good job or you're very blessed or you're very independent. Like you don't really need this person. All right. That's how they feel about you. They put you on a high pedestal, this person. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus would be the nine of coins. Oh, you had a black dog. Let me show you the dog again. Let me see it. Anyway, the black dog came out there. Um, I, if I see an animal, I call it. Maybe you see a black dog. Maybe you Maybe it's like a sign for your synchronicity towards this reading. So I always call it regardless if you have one or not. I see a white cat here as well. Like I said, it doesn't have to be. I'm seeing a hawk or an eagle or something here in the back flying behind her. Looks more like a hawk. Like a window, like a bird flying by the window. I feel like I'm, I'm hearing also, you have guides all around you. Okay. How does this person feel about Infinity Eye Sun? The Wheel of Fortune. Things came to a halt or to a stop. They're not moving right now. Okay. So you guys could be in a separation. Because the wheel would be upright. Like things are not moving in someone's favor here. It's in the opposite. Things stop moving. So something came to halt, maybe the relationship. Two of swords, somebody, two of swords. Maybe something happened here where uh, this person was putting the wool over your eyes. And then eventually you saw something about them and you saw it very clearly what they were doing here. And you put a stop to it. Someone tried to pull the wool over your eyes. Someone tried to blind you. Someone tried to, not necessarily like, I'm talking metaphorically. They try to, almost like, it's like manipulation when they someone tries to pull the wool over your eyes. Okay. So I see two people in the background fighting here. Two females. Maybe you found out about another person here. Maybe this person was doing something behind your back, possibly, and you found out. And you're like, yeah, screw that. I don't need this shit. All right, let's see. That could be the reason. If not, you just X this person out or you don't want to deal with them. Or you found out something. Or you, you it was like she got a final notice here. So I feel like your spirit guy's been trying to show you something. And you've been putting the wool over your own eyes. Sometimes we do that to ourselves. Okay. There's things about red flags about a person that we don't want to see. Until we have to actually see them. Because they keep hurting us or they keep doing something that hurts us. Okay. I'm going to throw this Leo card back in here if that's okay with you. Okay, so um, let's keep going. What is this person's intentions when it comes to infinity? The world. The world is like ending a cycle here. Closure. Cycle closing. Uh, the world is like traveling also. I don't know if this person travels or likes to travel. Okay, or this person could be traveling towards you. The world could talk about a cycle ending, closing a chapter, uh, or like traveling towards you. 
Ten of Coins. Ten of Coins talks about abundance, money, building, future. Okay, giving you something here it could be money, uh, family. This talks about family, building a home, the world, traveling. Maybe this person is traveling back towards your home, traveling back towards you. Do you have children with this person? There's children here. Or maybe they're ending a cycle with someone they had children with. They could be ending a cycle they have children with. The world talks about closing. Or this could be about returning. So their intentions is to close something and return to something. Give me one more about that Ten of Coins. What is that? And build with. Three of Wands. Three of Wands could be third-party energy as well. I'm seeing a white dog, a brown dog. There's something with that bird again. There's a plane here. This person definitely could be going on a plane and returning here. That's their intentions. That's not their actions. Intentions are thoughts. Remember that. Actions could be the opposite of someone's thoughts. You know, some people, they have an intention, but their actions show otherwise. Okay, no, this, this is about a home, a returning home, or traveling towards home, okay? Something about traveling, there's a plane here. Hmm, let's see, but there's three people here. Give me one more on that three of wands, clarify what that is for me. Oh, Lord. Judgment card. Okay. What did she did? She caught him drinking with another female. And she's closing the door. She's leaving out the door. Judgment means like you're evaluating something and you're leaving something. Someone could be. Mm, this is their intentions. They could be dealing with something else. Cause do get third party here. This is their intentions. They could be dealing with something else back where they're at or where they're living. And this person does to them maybe what they do to other people. It's like karma almost. And maybe there's something here or someone here that they may have a family with or they could have children with. Or there's something that they're dealing with. Could be a third party or something like a karmic. That they're... Maybe they caught them doing something. Maybe this is their person uh, drinking with another guy. And that person got caught. And now they're trying to come back towards you. There could be another person here. Give me one more for that three of wands. I gotta be 100% sure. Knight of wands. Yeah, the knight of wands is someone who goes back and forth. Very non-committal. They're, they're very fun. They're very youthful. Sometimes they sleep around. Or they have more than one partner. They don't really stay still. The knight of wands is someone who's just very flighty. Aries, Leo, Sag. They're not non-committal. It's like they, they're all over the place. They could be leaving something else and returning back to you. This person may do this often. What is the outcome? I mean, excuse me. How, what is this person's action towards infinity Ison? Eight of Wands. Okay, Eight of Wands was in reverse here. So Eight of Wands talks about non-communication or blocking. Tell me more about that eight of wands. The fool. They're freeing themselves. And I'm getting the energy. This person is freeing themselves from another situation. Because we have house sold here, but it's in reverse. So it's like there could be something that they're walking away from or trying to free themselves from. Maybe it has to do with where they live or a home. And they're walking towards something else. Ten of cups. I feel like this person is returning back to you here. This person could be leaving a family situation here. Page of Cups. But I'm going to tell you this. Page of Cups is like someone in reverse who's very emotionally. Page of Cups. Does this person have children at all? Other than not having them with you? Are you guys there? Affinity. The chat has stopped feeding. I don't see anybody. Okay. Does this person have children? Outside, you guys. 
If this person doesn't have children, what I'm seeing here is that Mazilungan to Joseph Torres. Um, there's a long line, Mazilungan. I can put you on the list or you can donate and skip the list. No kids that I know of. Okay, this could be a family-ish situation or leaving their home or leaving the, where they grew up. But I get the Page of Cups in reverse. So this person may act a little emotionally immature. We have the Nine of Blades, Nine of Swords in reverse. This person is being haunted by you. Almost like they're being haunted to do the right thing. I feel like this person can't take it anymore and they're coming back. I feel like this person left thinking that they could just let, let go, but they're being haunted. It's like it's divine time for them to come back here and do something. I feel like they have to come back and do something here. Every time they think they get away from you, it's like they get haunted by you. And they return back to the situation here. You didn't get a notification? That's weird. All right, let's see. What is the... um? Ugh. How do they view you? The hangman. Oh, this person puts you on the pedestal. This is also Leo energy here as well. The sun is like someone... They see you as someone who makes them very happy. They feel very like whole and complete. Like if this person has any like unhealed things about them or like you're very therapeutic, a therapy for this person or this person finds you very beautiful. You There's something about you that makes them want to change here. The hangman in reverse. I'm getting this is more like someone freeing themselves. Okay, from a situation here. That's how they view you. They, they may feel like you're trying to let go of the situation as well. Maybe because they did something. So it's like you feel like you have no choice but to free yourself. The hangman, even though it means something else. Here I'm getting like you're no longer hanging. Uh, like you're no longer hanging like on the rope here. You're just letting go. Okay. And you're happy. They may see that you're happy. Even if you're not, they, they you may show them or they may feel that you're happier without them. Or you're changing. There's something about you that's changing. I don't know, did you change your hair, your style, your clothes, or something about you is changing? This could be your character here is changing or your healing. You're no longer feeling stuck. No, I feel like um, when it comes to, it's, that's the ego, the ego talks. I feel like this person, if you're, even if they're not, they may act like they're not um, a tr like a tr physically attracted to you. It's because they're very emotionally immature, number one. And number two, their soul recognizes your soul and they're very much attached to you, okay? There's even if they don't want to be. They may be someone who's very ego. You know, ego men like big butt, big titties, big lips. They like things that are very devil-like, ego-looking. It feeds their ego, so it has nothing to do with how you look. It's, it's this person has a lot of ego probably and it feeds the ego. So they see you healing. They see you letting go. They see you as very changing. You're changing. That's good. That's a good thing. Okay. What is the outcome here? The Ace of Wands. There's a new start, a new beginning. This may be you having a creative spark here. You may, I don't know if you paint or you draw. Like you have a, a hobby that you do. I feel like it's going to bring a new beginning for you. Or you're being guided to get creative. She's holding a purse here. This could be your the, your key to money, your money bag, the star. I feel like um someone may want to actually. For, oh wait a minute, ten blades, forgiveness, two of cups. Okay, this person's. I feel like this person tower moment. They're, listen, I've been telling you guys all day. Y'all about to hit a tower moment. Your past is about to return here. And you have to choose a door. This is you, Infinity Eye Sun. This is your spirit guide. Your spirit guide may be your dog that passed away. You said you had a black dog that passed away. There he goes. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Your tower is right here. Okay. Everything's falling out. 
you're going to get a phone call. There's going to be a total shock. She's on the phone. This person's going to call you. This person's going to want a new beginning with you also. But this was in reverse to start. And I feel like you're not willing to heal the connection. Meaning, heal it, but not be with it. Right? Or this person may be looking for some sort of hand out. Okay? And Spirit is saying, you need to release this person with the Ten of Swords in reverse. And forgive this person. Surrender this to Spirit if it's hard for you to do. And say, Spirit, help me to forgive and, and let go of this person. Okay? Because the Two of Cups in reverse is a separation here. A soulmate in reverse. This is a karmic soulmate. Okay? They may be looking for a helping hand. But I feel like they could have ended something over here. And came running back over here. Because the Knight of Wands is someone who runs back and forth between relationships and they're non-committal. Okay? And Spirit is saying it's time for you to end that. Three of Cups. This person may want to reunite with you as well. So that is the outcome here. But I feel like it's a cycle that needs to be dealt with. Okay? Another person. You guys all have the same situation. That's crazy. You do paint and draw. They want you to... They want you to this also is therapeutic to you. It's very healing. And this could actually be your life, part of your life purpose. It's like your, your natural given talent here. They want you to keep... There's something about your artwork that's... I would love to see artwork. This has got to be cool. Um, that, that's very healing and therapeutic here. Uh, and they want you to focus on that. But I'm also getting someone wants to start over with you. A clean slate. See the page is white. It's clean. A clean slate. This person wants to heal the connection and have a clean slate with you. Okay, but I'm afraid, it, I feel like the Two of Cups is like, you've already surrendered. You've already let this go. This person has put a knife in your back one too many times. Okay, what is, uh, what is the mutual feeling between the two? Nine of Wands. Two people feeling like it's over, giving up, letting go. But this person is going to try anyway. You both feel like it's, it's both, both of you feel like too much damage has been done here. So being that the Nine of Wands is a reverse, you may feel like this person has given up and you feel like you've given up on this situation. But this person is still going to go ahead and try. Page of Wands. Okay? Page of Wands. You both both are like... There's something about both of you that you know if you go in this direction back towards each other, it may lead to a disaster or may lead to more pain or more wounds. So for me, the best thing to do is to forgive each other and, and move forward. Even if that freak person feels like, I'm getting victim mentality. Like this person may blame you. They breadcrumb you. And then they want to blame you if you, you they feel like you breadcrumbing them. So it's like they project what they're doing to you. They project that on you like, as if you're doing it to them. Okay? It's a very immature energy here that I'm getting with your person. Okay? Spirit wants you to focus on painting a new life for yourself. Also, this person wants to start over. They want a clean slate after they've done so much damage here. Okay? But remember, it takes two to mingle. You allow this person to come in and out. You allow them to keep hurting you. Right? So, forgive them. Forgive yourself. Move forward and, and wait for spirits to bring you something better. Okay? Uh, let me see here. Ooh, we have here. Stay away from drama today. This person brings drama to your life. Your reality is a reflection of your inner world. See, your reality is a reflection of your inner world. Remember I told you it takes two to mingle? Whatever you, you give out energetically is what you attract, okay? Forgive someone. I said that to you. You need to forgive this person. If they come back around, it's not for you to take them back. It's for you to forgive them so that the blessings and the right person can come in your life. Next. Okay, we got number one. Who is this? Where? Oh, I'm not in my page. Brooklyn loves cake. And then autumn. I hate to tell you, but I might only have time for these two people. I might come back on tonight, but I got to feed my children first. Because when they start getting hungry and I'm trying to read, my little one will come and climb all over me and yoke me up. You know, we got to forgive ourselves, too, because I'm pretty sure somewhere along the line, that person hurt you so bad that you want to hurt them right back. So we're, we're guilty, too. You're welcome. I hope that helped for you. Can I get some insight on my next romantic relationship person I'm dating? Okay, cool. And then we got Autumn, who's also a donator. I think this might be my last two because my child has switched schools and he comes even earlier now. 
Um, number one. Ooh, you got the uh, Illuminati. Illuminati deck. Autumn, you're next. Right after Brooklyn Loves Cake. All right. Calling in Brooklyn Loves Cakes, guys. Clear the energy, please. Brooklyn Loves Cake, guys. My guys. What do you need her to know when it comes to insight on her next romantic relationship or the person she's currently seeing? Anyone want to book me? Uh, 3333, I could do a private just like this with you. I'll even do it today if you want to book me tonight. What am I doing? There's so many names here that I'm going to write you all down, but I really don't think I will get to you and be honest. Mazzy Lungan. Mazzy Lungan. Just in case you guys want to. And if there's someone that donates now and I can't get to you, I will do a second live for you. Happy. Um, Christina. Who's new in here? Hit that subscribe button. These free readings are for subscribe, for subscribe people only. It is free to subscribe, so just hit the subscribe. Hit the like button, please. Baby, Christina, baby. Anyone who wants to skip the line, donation only, look at the description box. Oh, I was wondering where you were at, Rashima. I've been so busy, I don't even have time to call or text people. Holy Spirit, our angels and spirit guides calling in my guides, working with cake guides. What do you need her to know when it comes to her next romantic relationship? What is it like? Anything you need her to know about this new relationship here? Why am I hearing new beginning, numero uno, number one? What does she need to know? Brooklyn loves cake about this new relationship. You have the hermit in reverse. That's Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. The hermit in reverse could also be like, come out of hiding. Stop hiding, okay? It's like someone who ghosts and comes back, or this is like you needing to come out of your shell. It's time for you to stop hiding away. Maybe you're scared. Four of Cups. Four of Cups for me is like missing an opportunity because you're hiding away. Okay? Maybe you're, 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 you're focused on the things that you don't have, but there's something being offered to you and you're not seeing it. Okay? So come out of your shell so you can really see what's going on here. Attitude of gratitude, baby. Bam, bam. Hit that subscribe button. Battle Ram GT. Oh, good. Thank you. I see you wrote that. Hit that like. He did the like. I like Bam Bam. Battle Ram GT. Y'all going to make me do a second live, but I'm going to have to be late tonight because I refuse my child. Bam Bam Battle Ram GT. I'm going to add y'all all to the list. I was thinking about starting like a group, like one of those, uh, what do you call that? Um, what is that group called? Uh, oh my God. Okay. When it comes, uh, starts with a P Patreon where you guys do like $10 a month and it's like a small room, like dividing it into groups or something. That way everybody can get it, you know, red and they group A, group B, group C. You know what I mean? Like, there's just like 10 people in the room. Uh, all right, so we got the world card here. There's some sort of cycle completing here in your life. There's one cycle ending and another one beginning. So that's a good sign. So that means usually when you see the world card, there are things that are coming towards you that are good. Good and new opportunities. That's a good thing. Two of Pentacles. Release something. Let something go. It's a reverse. That's why I'm saying... Let it go. Well, this could be about needing balance. Or letting something go. There's something in the past you need to fully let go. The cycle is already over. It's already over. So stop rejecting opportunities coming towards you that are new. You have the two of wands. So it's like something you put out there, you planned for or you manifested, 
or taking action on something, making a decision here. You may go back and forth on a decision here, maybe with a person, whether you want to deal with them or not. Weighing your options. Tell me about this new person, this new love. What does she need to know? What do you need, Brooklyn Loves Cake? What do her guys need her to know? What does her guys need her to know? What do her guys need her to know? You're delaying a new beginning here. You're hiding in your in your hiding in your closet. <laughs> You're like a little turtle. You peek your head out and you put it back in. You're showing me a turtle. They're saying just take take things slow. You don't have to have expectations. Take things slow. Okay, but come out of your shell. You're delaying a new beginning here, a passionate new beginning. You, you're, you're blocking this. The Nine of Wands, they're saying don't give up. There's something, the Nine of Wands talks about you wanting to give up. But it's like the opportunity is here, but you're missing it. See, you're missing the opportunity. It came out in reverse. Wait, I'm putting my card everywhere. It's like you're missing the opportunity. That spirit's hand giving you the opportunity. And you're so focused on what you don't have or what your expectations were and, and they failed. And the spirit's like, I got something for you, but you're not seeing it because you're not looking. You're missing opportunities here. It's almost like you're you're sabotaging it. You're giving up before it can even get to you. Like right before it gets to you, you give up. You're getting the spiritual papa of Brooklyn Loves Cake. They're reprimanding you here. <laughs> right Ooh. the star yeah they're like this is like a time for wish fulfillment this is a time for dreams this is a time for dreams coming true manifestations the, right underneath the world card two major arcanas here okay this, they're telling you the cycle's over you're still in the energy of the cycle that's already over it's time for you to look positive moving forward see things are things coming towards you in a positive light because you've already healed from whatever this is Whatever your past was, you healed from that. Maybe you were single for a long time. You were in healing mode. You were hiding from the world at some point. Justice. They're like, whatever comes to you will be fair. This is you getting good karma. I mean, I see things, whatever coming towards you, positive. I don't see it being negative. I think the only thing negative is that you're still stuck in the energy of a cycle you just ended. Prince of Swords. Okay. Two of Wands, Prince of Swords, take take action towards something new. Or this is like information coming in. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Libra here. We have uh, Aquarius here. We have, uh, what else? That's all I see. Virgo here. Seven of Pentacles. There's something you want it. You manifest it. It's like it's coming in. Patience. Patience, my dear. Don't give up right before the thing comes in. Like you're about to, your harvest is is about to, you're about to reap the, the harvest that you've already planted, the seeds, you know? I'm hearing you, you laid it, you know how the people say, you made your bed, you lay, lay in it? So I'm hearing like, I'm hearing the same thing for your garden. Like you planted the seeds. So whatever you planted, whether it be good or bad, that's what you're going to reap. Reaping the seeds that you have sown. And you have justice here upright. So there's some good karma coming to you. There's something being made fair. Balance after healing. A, pe a period of healing. A long period. Queen of Pentacles. You're, there's something about you. Either you, you don't believe in yourself. Or your self-esteem. I don't know if it has any effect because of money. Or self-worth. Or not, not giving being given what you deserve. Or giving up. Because you feel like no matter what, no one gives you what you, you deserve or what you feel like you're worth. So maybe making you feel like there's something wrong with you, but there's not. And you may be giving up a little bit here. But Spirit's saying you're, you're doing the opposite of what they want you to do here. Like they don't want you to think like that. They want you to be strong. They want you to remain confident. They want you to know infinity, eight symbol here. Be abundant. There's something coming towards you. Okay, it's like the calm after the storm. I feel like there's a healing. 
You have three major arcanas in a row here. You have the world, the star card, and the strength card, which is the Leo card as well. I feel like there's something calming or something. They want you to be calm. They want you to be confident. They want you to be patient also. There's something that's, that's coming in for you. Now, I don't know if it's the person you're dealing with because... Or they're telling you there's something that you have to align yourself with for this bright person to come in. The fool. It could be Aries. But this is you taking a leap of faith. Don't be afraid to try new things. To go out there, adventure. Go on adventure. Aries energy here. The moon. We got Pisces over here. Something hidden. There's something hidden here. What is hidden? Tell me about that moon spirit. Five of Cups. We have the Five of Cups. It talks about crying over spilled milk. Oh, Lord. You too, Brooklyn Loves Cake. Come on. What is up with you guys? Six of Wands. You're going to have victory, though, over some situation here. People are going to start looking at you. You're going to start being noticed. But Brooklyn Loves Cake, I got to pull this out for you, too. I got to pull out my son's artwork for you, too. Someone's coming back here. You have someone coming back in here. Someone's planning on coming back here, I think. And I feel like this is going to be justice for you. Someone's like watching you. There's someone watching you. They're studying you. There's someone here watching your YouTube, your Instagram, your Facebook, whatever you got. And they're wearing a mask. There's someone who's having regret over you. Okay? And this is going to create some sort of tower movement. Okay? Whatever that is for you. Whoever that is. Okay, it's funny because there's a dog here. <laughs> and this is my dog right here. <laughs> okay, so same thing for you. There's a, like there may be a tower moment coming in for you. There's someone thinking about you. And I feel like this person is, is trying to decide whether they should even try or not. But they're coming back. I don't know who this person is. Five of Cups. So be on the lookout for somebody returning into your life. Okay, but I feel like it's because... This person is has been wearing a, a mask the whole time. I'm thinking that's a past person. There's something here, the cycle that's completing here. So I feel like something about having compassionate, being compassionate, whoever this is returning, like maybe there needs to just be forgiveness. And so you can, this new thing. So, okay, after this happens, then what, spirit? Four of Pentacles, holding back. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You're going to leave somebody out in the cold. You're not going to give this person what they want. They're showing me something returning here. You're not going to give this person what they want. I think this person wants to rebuild something with you and you don't want to. Five of Pentacles is talking about holding back, not letting go, being guarded, leaving someone out in the cold. Okay? But I feel like more so is because you're, you've already walked away from this. Princess of Wands. You're moving in a new direction here. Away from whoever this is. We have the Capricorn here, which is Devil. Toxic. Prince of Wands. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sag. This could be a soul, soul, karmic soulmate here. Come back in. They're not telling me about anything new here. Brooklyn loves cake. They're not telling me about anything new here. They're telling me about... Just know you're going to be second to last person on this reading. So when you rewind, you're the second to last person. There's something about a karmic soulmate returning here. They're not showing me anything new, but they're telling me a cycle is closed with this person. It's closing. You've already healed from this. Yeah, you're going to speak some sort of truth to this person. You're going to cut this person out of your life, but in a very, not in a non-compassionate. They want you to, it fell right on the strength card. And you see how she's having compassion for this lion? And lions normally, it's like they need to temper their anger. They need to... Have control, because if they don't, they'll eat everybody up, right? And I feel like Spirit is saying, temper your anger if this person comes back around. Do not emotionally react towards this person here because of something they've done. Page of Swords. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you have good words for this person. Just say be careful with how you talk to this person, because you don't want to create bad karma. You're in a phase of good karma, like things are coming into alignment for you right now. He's getting ready to come in. He's watching your shit. He's watching your platform. Six of Wands. This is going to create victory for you. I feel like this is where the door is open for you. 
if you do the right thing. So be careful how you react to the situation. Don't create more bad karma for yourself. Don't react out of a place of hate or anger or resentment because I feel like depending how you act here, how, how, how much you've emotionally grown here and matured here will show you. This person was teaching you also emotional maturity. You might have been a person who got easily like tempered or someone who went from zero to 200 and then people always say you're crazy and shit. Meanwhile, it's people making you crazy. But it's because you were letting people control your emotions. You were letting people get a reaction out of you, giving them power over you. That was part of your lesson here. Stop giving people power over you by giving them a reaction when you should know already who you are and what you're about. Ten of Wands. This is, yeah, too much burdens here. It's like the end of something, the end of hard times, the end of, yeah, you're going to put up some guards with this person here. You're going to put boundaries with this person, but you're going to be victorious at the end here, okay? You might have a lot of people, suitors coming towards you at this time. You're going to get wish fulfillment out of this. Once this, this happens, it's like you get wish fulfillment. Four of Wands, life partner comes in. You have a life partner comes in. The Four of Wands talks about a life partner, talks about a union. It talks about a celebration here, okay? But there's a lesson here. And then your life partner will come in. So I feel like it happens in that order. The emperor reverse, okay? So whoever's coming in, it's, not, it's, it's like a false, quote unquote, twin flame, false life partner, okay? This is the false person who trained you for the life partner. This is the person who, uh, I feel like, you cleared karma with this person. They're a karmic soulmate. They were preparing you for the actual person that's coming in here, the four of wands. You actually have a partner, a union, the one that you're going to like. This is your life purpose. You're going to fulfill your life purpose with this person. This is going to be your wish fulfillment here coming in. But there's a cycle that's getting ready to close with someone from your past who's going to return here. They're going to return. Okay? You're going to start seeing them. Either they're going to try to start calling. They're going to start texting. And if you... I don't know what your phone does here, but if you have a phone... No, I don't even get to you. I may not get to you, Sarah. I might do a second live, though. I don't know yet. Nighttime. It's going to be late night, though. Um, so, Brooklyn, uh, you might see, like, this person is going to start, like, doing little things. Or if you've got a phone that you can see, go into the settings in the, in the text messages. And you look up uh, block messages. You might see them popping up in that. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I need to give for you? I don't know what spirit wants me to give to you. Let's do this. I know what we're doing. Anything here for um, Brooklyn Love's Cake? Brooklyn Love's Cake. Any messages for Brooklyn Love's Cake? When it comes to new love or love? I feel like they're not giving me what you asked for. I'm sorry. Uh, but they really did. Messenger of Abundance. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay, someone coming back in. There's some sort of message coming back in. This could also be with success here. You might have some, like, when it comes to career and money, there's good news surrounded by that. Be open to success, which is the tar chariot. Okay, cancer energy here. Uh, we also have the spiritual teacher, the hermit. Okay, so I feel like you just came out of hermit mode. Okay, ten of thought, ten of swords. It's the end of hard times. Be open to success. I feel like you might have a double mission. You're going to be some sort of teacher. Or this is someone who's healed. And now the success is going to follow that healing. Okay. It says here, wonderful news regarding your career. A new job, a promotion, or acceptance into an excellent school comes into your life. You might feel ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. This situation may involve someone who's fun to be around and sometimes mischievous. Did I say that right? Or mischievous? I don't know how freak to say it. This person who may be you is youthful, optimistic, and very clever. Okay? But I also feel like it's a message of some sort that comes in. It's going to push you forward. The chariot. Be open to success. I do feel like by this person coming back around, it's karmic justice. And whatever they say to you, it's almost like it's going to push you forward. Like you're going to be able to like finally like be like, I can finally like feel free and let go, you know? Uh, look at all the, it's like facing the fear, okay? Look at all the wonderful things that you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition. I saw that with the six of wands and praise headed your way. 
But don't be shy. See? Don't be shy. Didn't I tell you? You got the hermit card again. Come out of hermit mode. You already did the work. You're ready to go back out into the world. Allow others to shower you with gratitude you deserve. So put yourself out there. Okay? Don't be afraid because of whatever happened in the past. The cycle's over. It's clear your energy of that. There are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now. But I feel more so like you are a mentor. You are a spiritual mentor. Like you've learned something and you have something you can tell, like your testimony. Okay? Don't. Don't hide your testimony. Like, your testimony is very powerful. Uh, it's going to give you a lot of recognition as well. Ten of thought. A situation that's been troubling you has come to an end. I told you, it's the end of a cycle here for you. And you can breathe a sigh of relief. I feel like that relief is what brings in this success. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. So I feel like it's two people coming back together and finally letting go of something. Okay? Like a breakthrough. All right, next person on my list is Autumn. Please post your question. I think that's who I'll, all I'll get to today. I'm sorry, guys. Anybody want to book with me privately? 3333. And I'll read you just like this. With nobody else in the room, of course. I'd like to know how my energies will be towards the end of this year in regards to my well-being. Please, so from July to December. I'm going to give you what I'll give you, but I don't feel like your energies will go out that far. But I'll try. Because it's, it's, it's like, it's, it's moving into the future and the future doesn't exist for me. It's the energies of what you got going on now, right? Your energy, we should always stay in the current energy, okay? The future doesn't exist. What exists is what we do now. So your cards are going to tell me what you're doing now. And what you're doing now is going to affect you from moving forward. So just know that. I'm not going to promise you what you asked me for because that's... I don't believe in that. I don't believe in the future. The future doesn't exist. I believe in the present, living in your now, accepting your now, having gratitude towards your now, and your now becoming your, your future. Okay? So, that being said, um, that's just my belief system and how it works. You got deck number three. You're welcome, Brooklyn. All right, baby Autumn. I like that name. That's a beautiful name. All right. Awesome. Clear that energy, calling in Autumn's guides, my guides. Moving. Okay, tell me what is going to happen with her. She wants to know from July to December, which I'm just going to read what comes out. So let's see what happens here. What the hell? Because it's, it all depends on what's going on now, what determines what's going on in your future. It's a card that's like overturned here, I find it. It's big old cards. Okay. I have a card flipped and I can't get a hold of it. I don't know where that. All right. Calling in my guides. There it goes. There's more than one. Okay, whatever. My guides, your guides. Tell me what is going on with Autumn and what can she expect in the near... I could do more like near future energy, okay? That makes just more logical sense because the future really doesn't exist. Time doesn't exist. That's all man-made, okay? What you do in your now is what determines the future, seriously. He will show me that. Hold on. I got to get that card. It's very annoying. Calling in my guides, your guides, Autumn's guides. My guides, your guides, Autumn's guides. What do you need her to know? Pertaining to the questions he's asking about her future, near future, what she can expect. Or how what she does now will affect her future. Okay, tell me that, Holy Spirit. 
well-being. I, I could tell you what comes out. Tell me about her well-being. I guess your mental, huh? And emotional. Your yin, your yang. Your masculine and your feminine. Three of cups. Okay. It's already telling me about some sort of unhappiness. Or there was possibly um, gossip around you. Or gossiping. Or maybe your friend groups are not really your friends. Okay. So maybe you got some friends around you that are not good for you. Or maybe you left the friend group. Or uh, this is about something that you don't want to reunite with or deal with. Or some sort of unhappiness. A lack of celebrating or a lack of just maybe maybe you don't have fun. Three Cups is also about celebrating and fun. Fun times. So maybe you don't have enough fun in your life. Okay. Or this has something to do with a friend. This also says when people are gossiping about you as well, like friend group, co-workers. Ten of Wands. You got too much going on here. You may work a lot or you may have a lot of responsibilities. And you may feel like there's not enough time. You may be like going like cuckoo, cuckoo, crazy. Like you don't even have time to answer your phone. You're so busy. You're so worked up. You're stressed out. You feel like you're losing time. Something with work or responsibilities, having too much, too much work, too much responsibilities, too much pressure, too much is being put on your plate, too many bills maybe, too many things to do. You feel like life has treated you unfairly, some sort of injustice here. Maybe there's a work injustice, something happening at work. If you have a job. Three of Cups, that's where the unhappiness is coming from. You feel like life has been treating you very unfairly with the justice in reverse. Sometimes you may wonder if you did something. You may be looking at yourself like, what did I do to deserve this? Like if you did some bad karma, you have the fool in reverse, which talks about a fear. The fear is keeping you stuck. The fear is what blocks your blessings. The fear of stepping into the unknown or the fear of what's going to happen into the future is, is what's keeping you stuck now. There's something about what is going to happen to me in the future that's going to affect you now. No, sorry. I'm not saying that right. There's a fear about the future that's a, okay, still coming out the same. That is affecting your now. So if this is a health issue, I don't know how severe the health issue, but it's creating blockages because you're so focused on the future and what's going to happen in the future instead of really just living in your now. And it's funny how I kind of called this for you in the beginning of the reading and now it's showing up. Okay, so if you don't work, it's just you having a lot of stress. Like there's something about... I don't know if this is bills or how I'm going to do this or how I'm going to do that or medical bills or there's worries. There's a lot of worries. There's a lot of burden. There's a lot of worries. Maybe there's a call. You know how when you when you hear no news is good news or maybe you're waiting on an important call when it comes to your health. Maybe you're waiting on like not a, I'm hearing like a verdict, but you're waiting on a decision or you're waiting on um, clarity on something or you're waiting on results or something and it's driving you crazy waiting for that call or you may actually miss the call because you're so worried about it or you're putting worries out into the the, the universe or there's something about uh afraid to even take the call it's like you want to hear but you don't want to hear king of blades yeah you're worried about what they find so i don't know do you need surgery or something i see a, a blade in his hand or some information or some sort of finding so I don't know if this is maybe has to do with some sort of test that's being done here. Like maybe that's what you're worried about. What's going to happen? Are you afraid of dying or something? I need to put it out like that. You have the nine of cups in reverse right underneath the three of cups. So you feel like nine of cups is like not happy at all. You feel like your dreams are not happening. Your wishes are not happening. You're just very unhappy. There's a lot of like sadness or depression here.
Tell me about this Ten of Wands. You have the High Priestess. Your intuition's been trying to tell you something. They've been trying. It's like the call is coming in. Or there's something trying to be shown or told to you. But you're so worried and you're missing something here. Or you're missing out on something. Or you're not hearing something. Or you're not listening. Maybe your guides are trying to tell you it's going to be fine. It's going to be all right. Stop worrying. You're putting that negative energy out there. In which, and that's what you're attracting into your future. Queen of Coins. Yeah, I don't know. This has to do with money or lack of work. or There's like a lot of healthy foods here. Do you have like maybe a stomach issue or something where it's like you need to eat better or you're afraid like maybe I didn't eat, eat enough good foods today? Or maybe spirit's trying to tell you maybe if you just change your diet. I don't know what the condition is. Oh my God, Autumn. Can everybody give Autumn a hug? You know, I'm an empath, Autumn, and I don't feel like crying. You feel like, you feel like things are not going to end well for you. The full and reverse. You fear, you're afraid to move forward because you're afraid that things will not end well. You don't feel something's going to be successful here. Like whatever findings they find, it's not going to be good. Two of coins. I'm getting something. I don't know what your condition is. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to advertise it. But that's up to you. There's one. There's two. Okay. The two of coins talks about balancing. Right. He's holding one tray that has a bunch of healthy foods. And he's holding another tray that has kind of looks like fattening globby foods. So maybe... Maybe your intuition has been telling you to change your diet, okay? Maybe you need surgery or you're trying to avoid surgery or maybe the findings could be corrected by you just doing something so simple like changing your diet because I'm seeing like a lot of fruits and vegetables here and it could have been caused by the things that you're putting in your body, okay? The hangman, they say, see this from a higher perspective, Okay? The vine wants you to see something from a higher perspective. Why is this all happening to me? Seven of coins. There's an impatience here. Or you feel like giving up. Or you feel like, like this, I'm seeing all kinds of things in bags here. I'm almost getting like, I don't know if this has to do with medicine or cures or things that you feel like they're not going to work. Things that are not going to work. Seven of coins, like. I feel like no matter what you do, this is what you're thinking though. No matter what you do, whatever medicine they give you or whatever it is, it, it either it's not going to work or it's not going to be good or it's not going to heal you or it's not going to help you. And I feel like you're going against your, your intuition. A lot of negative cards here. Like everything is literally in reverse. You're projecting the worst scenario. I'm, I'm hearing like, expect the worst and hope for the best. I have a problem with that statement. I always say, expect the best and know you're going to get the best. Not even hope. No. I feel like spirit is testing you and your faith here. Hmm. Something with that queen of coins and all the fruits and all those vegetables. There's a lot of fruits and vegetables in your spread here. So I don't know if maybe you going organic will help whatever the situation is. Eating better. Okay. Maybe that'll create some sort of balance in your body. There will be a recovery. I'm hearing there will be a recovery. But you got to stop being so fearful. Even if the results don't sound positive, God's like, I'm I'm the miracle man. I could turn anything around. <clears throat> like use God's given green earth. I'm hearing juicing. 
There's lots of fruits. There's lots of juices, lots of vegetables. So I feel like the synchronicities are being shown to me to tell you here. You're, 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 you might be against man-made medicine too. Because I'm looking at like these little bags and there's things in these little bags. And you're like, will this even work? And then a man is handing you what looks like coins. Could be like in my perspective being what the situation is. You prefer to go organic than to take whatever medicine because you feel like it might affect you in some other way. Or may have, you know how they say man-made medicines, they, they fix one thing and they, they fuck up something else, like another organ or something. Or they blind you or they make you slow or you can't drive or something. I don't believe in time frames either, Autumn. You know when the time starts? When you stop doing something. Like time frame is everything is divine time. Everything has lessons. And when you learn the lessons, that's when spirit, spirit is always going to work for you. He's always working behind doors for you. But there is no time frame because I don't believe in time. I believe in divine time. And I can't tell you what God's going to do in what time. I can't tell you that. I don't even know that. I can't even predict that for myself. God knows what you want. You need to pray. You need to surrender. You need to let him know your worries. Okay? And just be still. Just try to be as peace and try to stay as positive as possible. Okay? Because when you be positive, you project positive into the universe and that's what you get back. Maybe you need to start having like a list of attitude of gratitude to change your vibration and start saying, thank you for my good health. Even if you don't believe it's there, picture yourself in good health. Picture yourself in like white light, blue lights, okay? Maybe more meditation and prayer and surrendering the worries is going to help you come out of this because there is a lot of fear here, a lot of worry, a lot of stress, a lot of everything. There's something watching over you. There's like, you're going to have peace. They want you to have peace. They want you to take a step back and understand what's really going on here. Maybe this is a scare. This could be like a scare. I'm feeling like this is a scare to get you to change something. The Empress. This is like nurture yourself. Love yourself. She's like, okay, the Empress is a great card to have. This talks about self-worth. This talks about confidence. This talks about nurturing, loving, caring. Maybe you nurture a lot of others and maybe you need to nurture yourself more, care for yourself. Allow people to care and nurture you as well. Maybe you've given up on yourself so therefore you don't let others in, okay? This could be a mother extending herself out to you as well or a grandmother or a mother figure. Take it how it resonates. Or someone, could, if this is like maybe a grandmother or something that passed away, someone that, that's watching over you that wants to show you how to love yourself again and nurture yourself because I feel like there's a lack of love. This also talks about healing the inner child. Healing the inner child. Or if you have children, do you have children? If you don't have children, this is like healing inner child or like there's children that love you and need you. So you can't give up. There's definitely something about organic I, they keep calling me to it. I'm telling you, look, everything I see has fruits and vegetables. Look, more fruits and more vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables all in there. Maybe more so the fruits. Organic fruits. I ain't no doctor, but you got fruits over here. Like you have a choice. Are you going to put all this bad stuff in your body? Okay. Or are you going to put good stuff in your body? Focus on putting good thoughts, good things, healthy things. Like treat your body good. I'm here. And it will, it, it might change the verdict of something. That also helps too. You know, I knew a girl. She went to a health food doctor. He was like, no, he was like a homeopathic doctor in a health food store. Everybody used to go to him. It was like $150 an hour. And she told me she had ovarian cysts. They were so painful. And she was getting so fat. Her, her 
her skin was messed up, her hormones were messed up. And he told her exactly what not to eat, what to eat. He gave her a list of vitamins, okay? They were a little expensive, of course. Anything organic is going to be expensive. But I feel like if we pray and ask God, hey, God, I want to uh, eat better. I want to do better. I want to, you know, fill myself better. But it is costly. So can you help me get the funds to have more than enough where I can do this, you know? Because sometimes people eat bad because it's financially uh, hard for them to eat good because of the cost of being and eating healthy, right? So, um, I whatever happened with well, this girl, with she, her skin was radiating like her face, her skin, her look, her body, all the 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 cysts that whatever she had going on in her ovaries, they all went away, and it was because whatever he had her on, it was an organic diet. And she was juicing too. There's something about juicing or uh, what do you call that? Um, okay, this is going to sound nasty, guys. Uh, when, you, when you put the organic coffee in your butt, a flush, juicing and flushing. So like an organic coffee flushing. This is like the, you go and you buy it in the store. It's like a, you buy the container and there's like a tube. And then there's, you use coffee and stuff. Right, and it, you put it in your butt. <laughs> you lay on your side, and it's supposed to flush all the toxins out of your body. Look into it. They, there's some places you can go to, and they do it for like forty bucks. You only do it like once a month, maybe twice a month, and flush all the toxins out of your body, and then juice organically to replace whatever was stripped of your body. So it's like stripping your body of toxin waste or anything like that. I don't know why I'm being guided to tell you that. I still don't know what your issue is. So I'm going on what my intuition is telling me that you don't want to take medication. And maybe the medication could be too expensive. Okay. Or hard to get or something. Or you feel like it might poison another part of your body. I'm hearing heart health. So I don't know if it's like high cholesterol or something with the heart. Uh, we have the emperor. Whatever this is, will be successful. Or someone's going to offer you something here. Some sort of help or assistance here. This could be a father figure or a, a boss. Or we don't have, you're not working. Or someone's giving you some sort of loan or handout. Or maybe this would be positive news. But you need to change the way you think. So this may be like a doctor here. A boss or someone. Someone, um... What is V? There's a V here. Could be for victory. Almost looks like an Aries sign. Oh, that's the Aries sign. Could be an Aries, a boss, someone in control. Someone who makes the decisions. I mean, like positive decisions, positive results. You, you really just need to change the way you're thinking here. You might be expecting the worst, but it's not as bad as you think. I feel like there's some help coming in. He's got like a handout. He's smiling. He's looking at you. This could be a boss. I don't know if your father's active in your life or a male figure here. Positive news. Something that puts you back in control over your life. It's like you having control over your life again. Your intuition has been talking to you. What has your intuition been telling you, Autumn? Listen to your intuition. You have an ace of cups. It's in reverse. So that means there's just like a delay here. Two of coins. It's almost like waiting on you to make a choice, make a decision here. I don't know what that decision is. There, there you go. There's something about juicing here to balance your body out. Here we are with the juices again. Isn't that interesting, Autumn? How I rolled the dice. You got deck number three. And deck number three has all these organic fruits and juicing. It will help you. Whatever this is, is going to help you. Normally in a tarot deck, this would be an angel. And I'm almost feeling like the angel's like, you just got to change the way you eat. Really change the way you eat. Organic. It's like all organic. Maybe cutting out meats will really help you. I know it's easier said than done. I should be telling that to my fucking self. Excuse my French. But um, there's something about you going straight organic. Medical, like, organic okay and i'm not a doctor so listen i got a um 
if you go and you look on my page, <laughs> you're going to see that I put, I'm not no medical doctor, okay? But I'm giving you the reading you asked for, and that's what I'm seeing, okay? What is your intuition telling you? I'm a vegetarian, so I'm okay. Maybe more fruits. Are you do, do you do mostly vegetables? Maybe more fruits, because there's tons of fruits here. Or some kind of... um. You ever got the medical medium, the book medical medium? Maybe that's a good book for you. I bought that book and it shows you different recipes for different things, for different diagnosis. Medical medium, look up that book. And there's another guy that I follow, Chef, uh, what's his name? He's always doing natural homeopathic stuff. Maybe you need to Google it. There's this one guy I follow. He's always putting up all kinds. There's a few of them, actually, that I follow. They talk about all kinds of, like, organic remedies for helping certain things. Medical medium is the first thing I can think of, though. It's a book that you can actually hold and, and you can see. You heard of it? Maybe that was your intuition guiding you towards it. Now you heard it for a second time. How many times have you heard of this book? Your intuition been, could have been trying to direct you in a certain... And you're not hearing it. But now that I've said it again, maybe you really need that book. Maybe there's something you're going to find, some finding in there that's going to help you. Anything else that you need to tell her, Autumn? The world. There's something that's going to, this is, the world means there's some unfinished business here. Like, it's not old. It's not set in stone. Your circumstances are not set in stone. Like, this is just, this is a cycle here that's going to end eventually. You're not always going to be like this. Honestly, I don't, Rashima. Eight of Wands. There's some sort of block, block. I don't know why they just put this in my head. Eight of Wands. I, I'm thinking, like, it's usually block communication. But then I heard, literally, they said blocked arteries. So I don't know if that was mentioned to you. I literally heard blocked arteries. Something is clogging or blocking your arteries. Maybe it has to do with the heart. Or something with the blood flow. Uh, but other than that, eight of wands. There's some kind of blockage here. Something blocking you from ending something here. There's a home for sale here, a house. I don't know what that's about here for you. Are you thinking about moving? Are you waiting for some important mail? Are you waiting for some sort of money or payout? Or to travel somewhere? I see a horse here. I mean, a horse. What the hell is wrong with me? I see a dog. Maybe horses has something to do with something for you. There's a dog here. There's a plane here. There's a house sold. I don't know if you're moving or someone's moving or... Maybe some sort of inheritance or some money or assistance, financial. The magician. I feel like this is something you manifested, but you don't believe it's going to happen. But it's going to happen in divine time. You can't have, you can't ask spirit to tell you a time. He'll make you wait longer just for asking him that, seriously. The Leo card, it talks about strength. Whatever this is, you're going to have victory over it. She's in a wheelchair. If you felt crippled by whatever this is, I feel like there will be success here. And we have it here. You just don't see it. I feel like you'll get to the finish line. So I don't know what has to do with this. I don't know if this is making you, your body hurt or it's crippling your body. Or you feel like you can't move the same or walk the same or run the same. Or uh, it's like you can't do the things that you used to do. I feel like you're going to overcome that. You may have a black dog here. There's a brown dog over here. Okay, whatever, you don't have to have a dog. They could be like your guides or assistants, okay? Whatever this is, it's like you're gonna go from handicapped to <laughs> crippling to like not crippling. But it's like spirits say it's putting you on a timeout because he wants you to see something. This might put you into your life path. You know what I'm hearing? This might, you might have a sickness that the spirit's gonna teach you almost like, I'm almost hearing like healing yourself. And this healing of yourself and whatever it is that you do or you take is actually part of your life purpose. Like, that's actually you, the magician, planting the seeds. 
right? And it's like you don't even realize you're planting the seeds while healing yourself by doing this. And once you have that success here, you're going to probably teach others how to do this too. That might be part of your life purpose. Spirit might be putting you in alignment. He might be breaking you right now, but it's to put you in alignment with a life purpose here. He might be using the situation to put you in your life purpose. Like whatever you do here, there's victory at the end. And once you succeed, you're like, oh my God. You know how people have weight loss stories? You know how people have weight loss stories? Right? And everybody's trying to tell a story how they got skinny. Well, you're going to tell everybody your story how you got healed and how you healed yourself. Well, I don't feel like you just, it's just you. I do believe spirit has some part in this. But it's to teach others how to co-create, how to work with spirit, how to believe and have faith for spirit. Definitely, you need to come out of that negative mindset. Let me tell you something. Like my mom, she was so afraid. I got to go, guys. She was so afraid of, um, she was so afraid of uh, COVID. She got it three times. Her fear projected it back into her world. Whatever you put out is what you get back. Whatever energy, your energy, where your mind goes, the energy flows. And energy will be brought back to you, right? You're afraid of intimacy. Maybe it's affecting your love relationships too. Surrender to wonder and awe. Open to the magic of every moment. Sense that awe and wonder in all life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. I feel like you're trying to control what's happening and you have no control over it. Surrender to the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you're a magical being with a uniqueness worth that comes from just being you. Surrender to success. I'm telling you, this is going to lead you to success here. You're ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. This is what they're talking about. The fool. No matter what your circumstances is, they're telling you to move forward. Be faithful. Be positive. Move forward. Surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. I feel like it's the way you, you think about yourself and see yourself. And you're letting your circumstances determine your future. And you can't do that. You have to live every day like it's a good day, whether your circumstances are bad or not. It's like someone who loses a job, right? Either you can let the, the loss of the job ruin you and destroy you, or you can stay positive and pray and know that God's going to send you something else, right? So that's what that's kind of what I got for you here, okay? I'm going to give you like one more card here. Really, I know it's hard, but just keep reminding yourself, God got you. Pray, pray a lot, okay? And put it out there. Surrender whatever it is. Let God in. Let spirit in. Let your guys in. Tell them, I need help. I need help. I'm struggling doing this. Allow unlimited abundance. This is going to create some sort of abundance for you. I'm telling you, there's some money or help or assistance. Journal it out. Write how you feel. You're holding everything in. You may feel like you have no one to talk to or no one who's helping or understanding you. You may feel alone, but you're not. It's, it's spirit trying to change something in you. Believe in yourself. Unleash your inner... Your, your inner unicorn. So there's something special about you that you need to let. Create your own happiness. Don't let your outside world determine your inside world. Okay? You're going to radiate happiness and good health if you believe it and feel it. Like you have to feel it regardless of your circumstances. Like a single mom when her husband leaves her or something. And this, this is just general speaking, whatever. She could either fall apart and starve her children or she could get back up and get stronger and do something about it. Right? The, first, the only thing you could do is do what's the common smart thing to do. Work on feeding yourself and giving yourself better thoughts, better energy, positive energy, and better foods. And, and stay away from toxic things, right? All right, guys. I really got to go. Hope you like that reading. Bye.